Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing afternoon. Very happy to be here for our all-day Sunday stream. We kick things off with the Mantis C on our FTL Limited Hacking Challenge. A few of the some names suggestions for this fine vessel before we get started here. Gonna get cut out the final here in chat and your wonderful support. What's up, Corello Lyrco? Polygon, good to see you. Esquire Calendar Man, Samurai 7. Hey there, Valdemar. Kraus, good to see you. Dikowski, Bufanti, Static Control, Conexus, Funky Gornilla, Sub Joe Saloda, Death by Squidgy, and all the rest. Let me grab some names for our crew here from the Forever Name and Game List. Got some new names on there. Garonga to start. One forty one, I think. One forty one. There it is. All right, Garonga. We have some new ones here at the bottom, indeed. Deviro. And we also have Carnosaur. Nice. So, Mana C is very interesting. Uh, it's called the Thesis. It's got a very interesting boarding start with um, only bomb weapons. On this limited hacking challenge, any ship that has three weapon slots is going to be challenging. All right, look at all this support here before we even get started. Thank you, Lyrico. Thanks for 10 months. Conexus, thanks for 40. Kraus, 50 months. Polygon, 112. Xena Reflex, thanks for 20. Joe Saloda, thanks for 6. And TCO Dan, thanks for 60 months. Cheers. Does this ship have any weakened systems? It does not. All right, I'll name it then. The combat crab. Here we go. All right, if you're new to FTLs, the roguelike game of space exploration. Our goal is to work through eight different sectors of randomly generated space on our way to a three-phase flagship fight. This map right here represents one sector. Uh, the lines within will be the rebel fleet chasing us, pushing us into sector two and beyond. Not a lot of wiggle room here in Sector 1. Fair. Yo, Damon Noise, thanks for Tier 2 55-month subscription. Thank you. Alright, I will not surrender to Schlabbers. Very happy to see this one. Okay, I'm going to let them board. And I'm going to board them. Okay, it is a Mantis. That's tough. Okay, my O2 and doors got hit. Oh, man. Um, doors got to get repaired here. here. All right, gotta get this sorted out, though. Whiz, thanks for asking. All right, next name on the list here is Freddy Fred Fred. Yeah, 
Yes, O2 low, that's true. Alright, I'm gonna move the Lanius up to piloting now. Looking good. Yo, Samurai7, thanks for that very generous $25 donation. Really appreciate that. I'll get you added to the Forever Name and Game list here shortly. Uh, Damon Oise, thanks for 55 in Tier 2. Frixit, thanks for Prime Sub. And uh, Ozzy, thanks so much for six wonderful months as well. Cheers. Let me just make sure. All right, uh, you're going to be number 143 here, Samurai7. You'll be our next crew. All right, you're in there, 143 currently. Well, we do have the NG and the rock for distresses. Also, that we need to make up some room here, so let's hit this jump. Um, here we go. Send the rock in. Boom. I think I'm going to take as many jumps as I can here before the storm. Even one, two, three, four. That looks pretty good. Yo, pick a pipe. Thanks for making it official with Prime. Cheers. Oh, God, this is a scary fight. All right, we're going to get over there as quickly as possible. Our weapons got hit. That's not great, but as long as the shields don't go down here, it should be alright. Alright, nice reward there as well. Gonna drop the Lanius on shields here for an additional layer of safety. This ship definitely can hurt us. Question is, will we have them killed in time? Probably not. I'm gonna try to hacking toggle here, because either way we're gonna lose our shield. So as soon as this fires, I'm gonna drop it and bring it back online. Okay, well, we still got hit. I think I might have um, stopped part of the beam from hitting us at least. Pretty interesting start here. Definitely not doing bad for scrap. Right, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five before the exit. One, two, three, four, five. I think I might take this top path. Go one, two, three, and then take these and take this. 
Uh, diving here is tempting since the exit is two, uh, two jumps behind, but we've got to take a dive if we do that. So take a dive, we have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. That is also tempting. So you might as well go for the dive here. You know, thank you all for that generosity during the hype train. Hope you all enjoy your emote unlocks. Happy to be here for this all day Sunday stream. Frostboob, thanks for 33 months. Cheers. Let me count this out again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I can still make eight and go to the exit. I'm going to do exactly that. Is there another way? No, this is it. Yo, Kara, thanks for 119 months. Legend. Thank you, dude. Alright, Manus Pheromones are out of here. I'm gonna keep both lock and stun for the moment. And while Mind Control is a great tool here, I think buying two shields is more pertinent. Looks good. Okay, they didn't sell to us, but they gave us scrap. That's good, because I didn't have any scrap to spend. Send the rock in, dude. Boom. Stealth weapons. All right, I'll sell that. All right, we're going to intervene and defend the outpost. Uh, it's going to take a second. Okay, we have combat drone and heavy laser. Uh, two pretty serious things. All right, if I can take down this uh, this drone, we're good. So I'm gonna board with these, and then I'm gonna run him to piloting here. O open a few rooms here to push oxygen into this room. Okay, well that wasn't it. Okay, the drone's down, so we're safe here. Yo, Chetafine, thanks for 83 months, dude. Appreciate that very much. Chetafine, 83, Frozen Fire, 40. It's a bonanza today. Thank you, everybody. Good to be here playing some FTL. I don't think FTL will be the only game for our all-day Sunday stream, but excited to get back into our uh, hacking challenge. This is the 17th ship to get a win on uh, here in the challenge. We're currently... Uh, no, 13th ship, excuse me. I don't know what our win-loss is right now, because we're not doing this for win-loss. Though, playing without hacking has definitely been a challenge. See if we can get another damage in here. Hey there, Melody Bunny. Thanks for 500 bits. Appreciate that.
Do do do. All right. Nice little double reward there. Thanks, civvies. Yo, back up to 87 scrap. Not bad scrap this sector, if I don't say so myself. In fact, do we have any empty jumps yet? All right, is there another route here? There is. I can go one and then go two, three, and then four here. Which includes the exit. I think I'm going to do that because the exit's a guaranteed good or neutral event. And it also gives us info if there's a store back here. Cool. Did not see that pathing on the initial pass, but I do now. Okay, there is a store. What do? Prepare to fight. All right, this is tough. Oh, this is really tough. Um, I either teleport right now and take a chance that we lose crew or I run the Lanius over and take two volleys here. I don't think I'm willing to take two volleys. I think I'm going to do this right away. Go load up engine here, and then I'll teleport over into the weapons. Run him to piloting, run him back down. Okay, the bigger laser went down. That was very fortunate. Okay, the O2 is going to run out here. Alright, weapons are down, so I can load up O2 again. I hope you're having a good one too, Emil. Thanks for being here. We're stable now. Really lucky that bigger laser went down first. Wow. engines right now. Excuse me? Really excellent start to this man is C. I think taking this dive is is well worth it, but it is it is definitely a risk on a ship that doesn't have weapons. Uh, enemies can definitely have value points for sure. I don't think in weapons though. Shields shields definitely.
All right, automated ship get the station. Here we go. Okay, there's a beam drone right away. Um. Okay, we, we're safe here. There's actually no risk. Let's load the Lanius over, keep it simple. And while this is going to take a minute, it's actually kind of ideal because uh, my breakfast is here. So I'm going to take a quick moment to eat just a couple eggs and a piece of toast while we are punching the ship down. We'll be right back. All right, thank you for your patience there. Breakfast has been consumed. Nothing useful in the station, but scrap was useful. Wow, another fight. Awesome. Okay, I didn't I didn't clone my um my Lanius here. That was a mistake. Let's just go here. 
Let's see what three crew we're up against. Okay, we got NG, Human, and Rock. I'm going to shuffle these around a little bit. I'm going to send out the Rock and the Manus and put the Rock in first, the Manus in second. So the Manus is hitting the lowest health crew. The sooner I can create a numbers advantage, the better. Very good. Another high scrap reward. Wow, 135 scrap on hand right now. <laughs> Cats are playing in the window. Cutie patootie. Store time. All right, what's here? Drone control, combat drone, huh? Reconstructive teleports, interesting. I kind of want to buy swarm missiles because I got 34 missiles. Let's just hit a system, right? Maybe I should be buying Swarm Missile here. For 65 scrap, that's a tough sell, but uh, I could definitely see it being correct. Let's sell Lockdown Bomb and buy Swarm. It might be actually the first natural Swarm Missile I've ever bought in uh, FTL. Okay, now I'm going to buy engine and two power bars. Okay, there we go. All right, to the exit. Good luck to me. All right, here's me. Glad that I bought Swarm Missile. Wow, that's a hell of a weapon system for Sector 1? I guess the million dollar question here is, do I board? Do I just slam missiles into the, uh... into their weapons? If they didn't have medbay, I'd be a lot more keen on boarding. Okay, let's go ahead and go here, and you go here. I'm actually going to auto-fire the swarm into the there. I'm glad I bought this third engine. Okay, nice. The flak toggled there. That's big. It's big. Fine. Okay. Keep at it. Okay, piloting just got hit. Okay, well. Okay, next sector, please. Uh, let's go NG controlled. Sounds great. Wow, we, we dodged that ASB like, like a pixel there. 
Okay, so that was a pretty gnarly dive, but considering what we got for diving, that was very much worth it. And considering what that ship was, that actually went pretty awesome. That's about the gnarliest ship you're ever going to see in a Sector 1 dive. Double heavy laser flak LATO missile? Okay. I will happily accept not dying there. And let's just also say that if I did not buy the Swarm Missile in that occasion, we were probably dead. Almost certainly. Okay, it's unlikely this ship hits us. Do you think this is a two or a three crewer? Let's find out. It's a three crewer. really fortunate the way that played out. A lot of aggressive micro here. We're going to make it. Nice. Yo, Hessian X, thanks so much for 77 months. Much appreciation. I want to give you guys a quick update. I can hear it in my voice today. I'm feeling perfectly fine. We just have a lot of uh, smoke in the area. My family's totally safe and whatnot. Just uh, horrendous air quality in my region currently. And that'll be all I'll say on that is many people are much worse affected than, than we are. But I can definitely hear it in my tie voice. A little sultry today if I don't say so myself. Let's go here and then here. All right, let's download here. Okay, we got a we got a sector update. Awesome. Oh, there's not very many fights here in the NG-controlled sector. That's not unusual, but it's interesting to see like this. Alright, what's up, store? Small bomb is very tempting. Dr Mind control is probably it here. Unfortunately, Small Bomb and Swarm are basically the same weapon for this system. I'm not gonna spend, If I found one of these, I'd be happy. I'm not going to spend 45 though. We're, again, not purchasing hacking on um, any ship that doesn't start with it. And we're not upgrading hacking on the three ships that do start with hacking on this challenge. I'm going to buy Mind Control here. And... Huh. I guess what we're going to do to make this work is we're going to dive again. Because I'd like to hit this store with an amount of scrap to actually buy something. But at current, um, very hard to do. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
eight, nine. Yeah, eight, nine, back for the dive. Let's also just grab a nice little repair here to 22. All right, now we got mind control, which is very strong. Let's start with this guy on sensors. Since we have mind control now. Good luck to me. Oh, let's go. Giant alien spiders. We won. I defeated the giant alien spiders, and all I got was this stupid t shirt. Oh, I'll rescue the store. You better believe that. Okay, store rescue right here. Okay. Here we go. So he's gonna board piloting here. No, okay. I'm gonna vent this guy around. Hey, Shad Dad, thanks for 82 months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. It's gonna mind control him now, so when the mind control breaks, he'll go back to his ship. Repaired our hole. Awesome. Wow, long range scanners. I'm going to sell Stun Bomb to pick those up. Let's go. Long range scanners on a boarding ship? Yes, please. You know, I think I'm going to be skipping this store because I just picked up the long range scanners. There's not really any way I'm going to get enough value out of that. So let's just take the correct amount of jumps. So we'll go one, two, three, four. Well, one, two, three, four, five. I don't think diving for one extra jump's worth it here. Tea with honey sounds good. Yum. I guess I'll start here. We're here to the map reveal, so we know there's not a bunch of fights here. Hail them. Uh, Buy fuel for two drone parts. I do that, sure. Thanks. Yo, Pegasus missile? Hell yeah, dude. Pegasus missile's pretty big time. Potential four damage to a single system. Secure it. Defense drone mark one. Okay, we're in the we're in the market for drone control now. Uh, 
Um, okay, it's just double NG. I should probably just board here. Forget the mind control. Should have him down by the time the second missile fires, I hope. Oh, not quite. All right. Okay, everything cool here. Devorah's a little bit uh, injured. That's okay, though. What's your specialty? Reactor for 22. We're at 25 for reactor upgrade now. Well, why not? I agree. Yeah, so three scrap discount on that upgrade. Wow. Oh, let's go civilian. Zolda control is kind of a nightmare for this ship. Okay, I'm going to reject your offer. Okay, they have mind control. I'm going to just counter, counter their mind control here. Okay, Zoltan human will die very easily to Mantis rock. Let's get in here, get this done as quickly as possible. That's good. Nice. They had to have started a fire. Hey, you never know, that three scrap could be the difference between, like, buying drone control or not. Discount's a discount on hard mode. Yeah, it's just like having a Corella there. 79 scrap hacking in the store. Hey, I can't buy hacking, but uh, I feel you there. I actually would have already had hacking on this run um, if it was allowed. We saw it in our first store when we had 80, 85 scrap. Not this run, though. Not this, not this challenge set. We're doing one win on each ship without purchasing the hacking subsystem. And on ships that start with it, no upgrading of the hacking subsystem. Only three of the 28 ships start with hacking uh, for clarification. All three of those are pretty good by themselves. Yo, Halberd Beam in the house? Hells yeah, dude. Hells yeah. All right, I'm gonna go down here a little bit and then come back for the store before we head over to round out the sector. I'll start by going here. After months of waiting, someone has finally fallen into our trap. Wow, months of waiting, though, guys? Dang. Alright, how do I manipulate this so I can hit weapons appropriately? For starters, I need to board. I think I board is three here. All right, so I'm gonna start by boarding into shields, and then uh, when this guy gets here, I'm gonna mind control him. And then I'm gonna run up to weapons. All right. 
Look at me. I did a thing, everybody. I did a thing. Okay, the bigger, uh, bigger one's down now. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we go here. And here. And now if a crew spawns from their clone bay, they'll come down to the shield room. Okay, there's that. Then we tank with the rock, and this fight's over. Mind control paying dividends. Excuse me. Listen here, you little baby kitty. It'd be real nice if you didn't play around the modem, but, you know, you're going to do what you're going to do, because you're just a little guy. Just a little guy. Okay, this looks cool. Can I go one, two, three, and still make the store? One, two, three, store. This is four. This is five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we technically lose one jump doing that. We get three fights before the store. I don't I don't think we're going to do better than that. One, two, three, store. Seems good. That sounds awesome. Like an awesome run, Corello. Uh, this is a Pulsar. This is a very dangerous uh, place. We do have a store right afterwards. Okay, is there an additional option here? Can I do can I do more? Ooh, maybe, maybe. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there's no way we're getting back over here. Uh oh. Don't bother the pin pin, buddy. Okay. She's up there, she's chilling. This one's not right. Okay, hold on. Hi, buddy. Way to, way to bomb that one. Okay, there we go. Alright, I'm going to reject their offer. Okay, also, before they board me, I'm going to board them. To try to simplify this. I'm gonna get right on this guy. Okay, I already double hit him, so I'm gonna rotate to put the manus on him. I want him to die as quickly as possible. It's definitely a possibility that we get hit with this uh, whole missile. I prefer not, but here we are. Yeah, it already fired. Damn. Okay, that was not a whole missile, that was a Hermes missile, is what that was. Yo, Darklight, thanks so much for 61 months. Appreciate that continuation. Thank you.
Alright, quest marker added to the map. Is it on our way? It is on our way. Might be getting a repair there. Alright, it's pulsar time. We have a... Pretty serious battle here, in fact. Let's go ahead and get into the shield room. get a double charge on my swarm, I will fire it at them. They could take down the other set of weapon now. Good. Okay, well, thankfully, a store is next. I can't, um... Well, okay, I can clone crew inside this pulsar by toggling the power on and off as the pulsar goes off. That's a pretty janky way to solve this problem. When I can just jump here. Okay, drone control, backup battery, probably buying both of these. A little bit torn on weapons here. I think I should probably swap to the Pegasus, but Swarm is good right now. I think I'm just going to buy the weapon power to have a flex option. I'm also going to buy... Okay, drone control, yes. Backup battery, yes. Three repair. I may get a repair here as well, but maybe not. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. This actually worked out better than I thought it would. Cool. Refuel, two missiles, two drum parts for reactor upgrade. I agree. Also, probably should have sold the second defense drone. Oh, double defense drone actually does have some uses, depending on our drone uh, consumption. Tough day being a pit bin. Tough. Tough day being a pit bin. Oh man. Slice this down a little bit. Classic. Almost. There we go. No repair here, dude. Uh -uh. I 
Bar is sweet. Just a nice high scrap reward. Beautiful. I'm going to give you five missiles to request. It's seven hull points repaired. Awesome. Good trade. Oh yeah, Zealousy. James came downstairs yesterday. After over a year of not coming down here, she just, just wandered down like she owned the place. No big deal. No big deal. Alright, let's uh, work our way back around to this store so we can possibly sell and upgrade uh, our weapon system. That's what we're looking at right now. For Sector 4, we're not looking too bad. Alright, definitely have to disable one of these uh, weapons, no question. I'm going to board shields here to pull them off of their piloting. Um, I'm going to stick... That's fine. Let's just swap these real quick. He took a double hit, so he'll die faster. Really only care about taking down, well, let's say the lasers, which isn't happening. Okay, shields didn't get hit. Good. Okay, burst laser 2 is down. Feeling better already. Glad I held out of the swarm. Definitely a functional weapon here. What's up, Bjorn? Uh, the Mantis? Alright, Bjorn's gonna be Samurai 7, our uh, newest forever name in gamer. Grab the list real fast. $25 one time through uh, PayPal Streamlabs, Patreon, or 2500 bits can get you added to the forever name in game list. That is exactly what it sounds like. You get put on a list that is forever there for pulling names in game for crew and other um naming game related festivities you gotta get out of the asteroid field to rename this mantis though all right what good sleepy kitties we got yeah you go up there and bother him too bud you can do it You can do it. Oh my god, this cat. Just go around, buddy. Or don't. Or don't. About to get real. Uh-oh. You gonna make it up, bud? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh. I can't help you from here, but I'm sorry. I can't. That's tough. That's tough. Yeah, was it worth it, buddy? Hey, let me see you here. Was it worth it? The bug your sister, was it worth it? Okay, let's just check in. Just check in. Let's get that let's get that pushed in, bud. I know. I know. Yo, Duragon, thanks for 46 months, and Tile Lights in. Thanks for 33. Thank you. All right, well, now we have a third border, well, fourth border, technically. That's nice. Actually, a really massive help, and it being a mantis is even better. Ooh, how do I feel about this? I'm going to go one, two, three, four. even go one two three four and still make this store let's take this one first no i don't want to repair the damage oh okay 
I mean, definitely the option of hitting only one of these stores here. What do I have to sell? I have defense drone to sell. I have potential swarm to sell as well, or Pegasus. Okay, I'll take the store. I'm gonna buy fuel here. That's it. It's the last one. Gonna reject your offer. Okay, these two things actually time out pretty decently. I think I'm gonna have to swarm the bed bay here, or I could Pegasus the weapons to start. Tough. Well, here's the deal. If I take down one of the two weapons, we're safe. Let's just four-man board and I'll tap the weapons. I'm going to board into shields here to pull them off. I'm going to mind control one of these guys. Get the human. That works. Oh, look at him going for the med bay. What a guy. What a guy. Okay, we're safe now. Okay, they have level 2 med bay. Good. Alright, we did it. the store. Alright, what do? What do? I mean, there's some weapons here. They just aren't the weapons I need. Like, Heavy Laser 1 looks cool, but how does that work with getting a three-slot weapon system online without hacking? It doesn't. I need, like, Flak or at least Burst Laser 1 here. Looking like to really contend with a lot of ships, I'm going to have to go into six weapon power. Pegasus Halberd Beam can deal damage to a three shield ship, no problem. But I mean, more importantly, we're probably looking for mostly crew kills. So I think I just hold on to the swarm again and probably just go into three shields here as a, we're not going to find another store. Uh, I'm just going to buy three shields because three shields plus defense drone is... I would say semi-safe here. It's definitely something to do. Fire drone, burst laser 2, heavy ion. Um, the best way for me to get through this is by using the halberd beam. Easy kill once we break this. Yo, B. Joe, thanks so much for nine months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper, dude. Thanks. You little kidders are out of control today. 
Did my weapons get hit there? Sons of a guns, they did. Okay. That's fair. Please hit. Thank you. Wow, I got that online just in time there. Okay, let's spend that. Okay, shields got hit. That's uh, pretty brutal. This fight will be over after one more volley, luckily. Okay. I just want to look real quick. Okay, no. Let's say I could jump and dodge that volley, but at what cost? Seems straightforward, just take the fight that's shown to me. How much to get to six weapons here? 35, 50, 75. Okay, so 160 plus power to have Halberd and Pegasus working. Yo, dang tight listen. Hope you have a great staycation, dude. Thanks for 33 months. Enjoy your rest. Okay, the ship can't damage us. Just a casual little two-crewer right there. Love it. Ooh, okay, okay. Kind of feel like second engineer is good here. Even a second rock might be uh, appropriate. This is our fourth border, though, which is very nice. Considering we don't have any real weapon options, I'm semi-tempted to take the third manis here. I'm going to do that because it, it means that we get... The crew kills faster, which in some situations means we take less damage. Not my usual first choice, but I think valid here. All right, Jack's getting a name. We're going uh, Bearded Flames. That's the one. Three jumps before the exit. I'm gonna go one, two, three exit here. All right, pretty nice boarding crew. We don't have our weapons figured out yet, but everything else is good. West marker added to the map. Okay, I guess I'll go here and then here then, because this could be a store. Could be. Could also be a repair, which would be nice. Oh, we're attacking the pirate. You kidding me right now? Kids in? 
Okay, they also have mind control, so we're gonna counter mind control here. And this is a great time to use defense drone. All right, and then it's a great time to four-man board the shields. Which these rocks are gonna be slow to getting to that, so this man is, is going to die. Good. Let's go two here. Okay, good. That really simplifies this fight. There's definitely a way to do that without. Oh, come on, bud. Hit me right now? I did that. I did that. There we go. Yo, little patch up there. Hell yeah, dude. You're just troubled today, little buddy. Little guy. What a little kitten. What a kitten. Alright, quest time. Hopefully this is not a whole repair quest or reward. Okay, the upgraded reactor is technically one of the worst upgrades you can get from that, but it's better than getting whole repair because we were already at full from the previous event. Also, reactor power certainly ain't bad. Oh, man. Um, I'm gonna give you the five missiles here. Oh, that was a whole repair right there. Fair. Mantis Homeworld's civilian sector. Hmm. I'm not adverse to the idea of Manus Homeworlds. We do pretty well versus most Manus. I could also possibly get Kazak Plethkillic here if I buy level 2 Teleporter. I think I will. Or maybe I don't need level 2 Teleporter for the Manus Homeworld quest. Is it just... Teleporter and level 2 Clone Bay? No, I think I need, I think I need Advanced Teleport to make the end of that quest. Frankly, level 2 teleport is not a terrible purchase right now. Hey, Rao, thank you so much for uh, those subs in advance. Appreciate that. For taking advantage of that sub timber deal. Glad you're enjoying the content enough to even consider that. Speaking of three months, we are about three months away from our winter Fragmas. December 1st, kick off 31 streams for the eighth year in a row. Looking forward to that. Well, I will say one thing for Manus Homeworlds. It has a lot of events that aren't great, like a lot of sun beacons and stuff like that. So if my only real upside to going Manus Homeworlds is getting Kazakh Pleth Killick and I have to upgrade the reactor to do so, I'm going to go ahead and go Civilian Sector. We're definitely uh, in range to take on Mana's Homeworlds, but, you know. Okay, let's go one, two, three. Civvies are cool, too, is all I'm saying. Let's reject your offer. Four on two, here we go. This is the advantage of having multiple this many Manas. We get to kill stuff before their weapons fire, and that's real cool. Let's just play smart here. Could definitely get away with trying not to clone these crew, but I'm gonna. 
Oh, cool. We have, um... So we have Exodus inside Nebula. That's awesome. It's probably going down here and then coming back up this way to dive. Very glad to be back here for our all-day Sunday stream thing. It's been a nice little tradition to uh, to reboot. I think we're going to keep this up until our Fragmus winter begins, uh, or thereabouts. Uh, last week was basically all-day stream week with the uh, Mesa chimps attempts and balloons. That was fun. All right, store time. Hey, Iron Lion, thanks for 22 months. Appreciate that. Thank you, dude. You know, drone recovery arm doesn't seem too bad. I just don't currently have the drones for it, but... I don't know. So this becomes awesome if I end up getting a whole repair drone later, but I don't think worth it at this minute. Just upgrading weapons to have Pegasus, uh, Halberd, maybe even Swarm Halberd could be something. Swarm Pegasus? Seems okay. Okay, I think the more correct route here might actually be going down first, and then uh, hooking back up this way to come down here. Then go over this side. Let's take a few more jumps before we decide on that. Or at least one more. Yo, Taito Corvus, thanks so much for nine months. Appreciate that continuation. Cheers. Okay, carefully cut the ship out. Free medium scrap reward, my favorite. Alright, let's take a look here. I think I should just take these jumps and skip this one because I can already see where the fights are. So if I go down this way, I can make it back up here. And if there is a fight on this one, I could always cut back in. So this is the jump. Uh oh, Penny's got a hairball. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough, Pin Pin. All right, we're gonna attack the enemy ship at the station here. All right, burst laser two missile launcher. Seems like a great time to use defense drone. Definitely a great time to use Halberd Beam as well. I'm gonna roll these guys out. Should you go here? Uh, you go here. You go here. I don't know how necessary boarding is here, but I'm gonna do it. My thought is, if I hit the weapons, I mean, yeah, I have defense drone, but that defense drone is not a hundred percent chance to dodge. If I can just punch that down, that'd be helpful. Exactly my point. Exactly my point right now. Okay, good. My ploy paid off.
Okay, we just got map details. This could definitely change our pathing. A very quick restroom break for me. One moment. Alrighty, we have returned. I think creating the goal of ending on the store makes a lot of sense. Okay, um, let's see here. So I could go one, two, three. This would be four. Four and a half. Six, seven, eight. How many jumps? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven before this. So this would have to be number eight if it was. This would have to be six and a half. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. This is six, six and a half, seven and a half. That should be good. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a half. One, two, three. Four. Oh, this connects as well. Okay. I mean, there's less value in these empty nebulas compared to other jumps. What about this? One, two, two and a half, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, six, six and a half, seven, store. Seems better because we include uh, this jump down here and snag this one. One, two, two and a half, three and a half, four, five, five and a half. Oh, it's all the same. I have seen this jump revealed too, so I guess seeing this one makes sense. We can go one, two. One, two, three, four, four and a half, five, six, six and a half, seven. That sounds good. One, two, three, four, four and a half, five, no, four, five and a half here. Six, six and a half, seven and a half. Yeah. It's going to be as good as we're going to do. 
Additionally, I could include two more nebula jumps to skip this jump, but I think this path makes sense. Also, we're gonna have a lot of scrap before we're hitting the store. Do I wanna buy anything right now? I think probably not. Making a large transition at this store could be uh, very useful. We also do not have the cloaking subsystem, so that's something. We're going to have to build a weapon system of some kind. We definitely already have a functional part of. Oh, Swarm Pegasus Halberd Beam could defeat the flagship. Could. Yo, Energetic Apathy, thanks for 48 months and that prime continuation. Appreciate that very much. Thank you. Just buy two power bars here. Seems like a nice compromise. How much for two weapons? 85. You know what? I'll do this as well. Now I can have Halberd Swarm or I can have Pegasus Swarm. I think Pegasus Swarm could uh, dunk out some very aggressive events. Uh, Dread Pirate Tuka, watch out, guys. He's here. Alright, it's extremely unlikely this ship hits us. Do I want to use a missile here to take down the med bay? Uh, not really. I'm just going to board weapons here, and I'm going to mind control this guy. Uh, let's load up the Pegasus. Okay, we're in range of not taking damage now. Okay, there we go. Okay, weapons are down. Okay. system on that one. Repair burst. Interesting weapon. And so I'm so blessed right now. I got a pin pin. Hi, pin pin. What a good giddy. Yeah. Sorry I touched you. Sorry, pin. That's tough. That's tough.
Hey there, short stack. Thanks for 75 months. Appreciate that three quarters century. Thank you, dude. Yo, you did it, Ryan Okun, a 111 month streak. Thank you, man. One elevens, just a couple. They can't see your little turkey leg down there. Bit pin, that's where the, the cuts off. All right, so we have a five laser fire beam ship. Okay. So we're gonna do one halberd pass and then a swarm pass as well. Oh, hey, I can do both right now. That's right. I remember. Um, Let's roll you up to engines for now. I guess you can go on shields for the moment. Air hit. Yo, hey, let's keep coming. Rip on, lol. Thanks for 68 months. Appreciate that continuation. Thank you, dude. I got him. Who's injured in here? Just you, huh? the last crew to clone. Okay. Intruders on board. That's okay. No worries there. Is that it? Just the two? Just two then? Get roasted, you stinky humanitis. Dang. Let me reassess here. All right, so I can go one, two, one, two, three, four, five is two and a half. So I can't include this jump. I can go one, two, three, 
So one and a half, two and a half, three and a half. Still make the store. Yo, Snackle 2, 64, 56. Thanks for 41 months, man. Appreciate that. Oh yeah, here we go again. This is a very big weapon. They have two power here, one power here. So I need to do four damage in order to take down the burst laser three. That means I need to board with this rock and mantis right now. This will not fire before my halberd, at least. Something. I can do this. Okay, good. Without boarding there, that could have gotten a little bit scary. Could take these two jumps instead of this jump. I can go one, two, and a half. I think I might actually do that because I can see this isn't a fight anyways. And two nebula jumps because there's more chance to find something than one empty white jump. Oh, that bottom one's Asteroid. I remember now. Okay, we're going to take this trade. I almost goofed here, because this is a full jump. Okay, we still have two here, though, so I can go one, one and a half, two, and still make the store. If we would have taken this and included this, we would have been diving here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, big ass missile launcher scene. Okay, at least there's no med bay clumbe here. So if we get uh, get this down, we're good to go. I'm gonna load up the swarm here. Gonna drop you on shields for now. Nice try, defense drone. Nice try, I guess. Okay, let's do this then. Word not required. To get in here and get the kill as quickly as possible. Cool. Defense drone did its job. Thank you, defense drone. Clone these two. next empty nebula with the hazard is going to be a 
Whoa, combat one, combat two. This is no joke. No joke. All right, how am I gonna do this? I kind of think I'm gonna board right now into drones and see what happens. Not super stoked on that, but I could see it working. Yeah, let's keep Pegasus Swarm here. Let's board on this side. Kind of hoping that the rock was going to be in the weapon one. Oh, they shot down my defense drum right away. Yikes. Okay, the missile launcher went down here, which is very big deal. Oh, drones went down. Never mind. I was, was going to Pegasus over there, but it's not necessary. Let's, uh, let's go here for now. Oh, okay. Well, fair. I think this is uh, an Artemis missile. Nice double reward there. I hope you're having a nice one too, KSWA. Thanks for being here. All right, manually search here. No manually search. All right, then. So they're currently in drones. I think we'll make it down here in time. Looks like a four-man boarding team, though. Yes, it is. Oh, it's three-man. Three-man. Check out the store now with 310 scrap on hand. That's a fair amount of scrap to be ending Sector 5 with. However, there is no... Uh, nothing to buy here. Fair? Let's sell the repair burst. It's like five engine, two backup battery right now. Sounds all right for the dive. The dive will be a non-ASB because it's on a nebula. But more engines seems like a smart upgrade. Thank you. 
330. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go 5 engine, level 2 backup battery, and we'll hold for the next store. Because getting a weapon upgrade here is definitely what I want. It just hasn't appeared yet. I mean, pretty scary ship, right? Gonna use a defense drone here. I'm just gonna load up my engines. I'll just defend my own ship rather than try to get a kill. I can get a kill on this ship. It's just probably not worth it. He should be up here, I guess. I should put him in here. That makes more sense. Good job, defense drone, kind of. Aces over there. At least it missed. Alright, next sector is Zoltan Homeworlds, huh? Oh boy. I mean, I like the idea of getting Zoltan Shield here, but, uh... <laughs> There's some very nasty Zoltan ships, and we can't board Zoltan ships as it stands right now. Okay, going to the store here now is fine. Yo, massive man, thanks for four months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thank you, dude. Wow, Burst Laser 3. I mean, definitely not a weapon I'm very excited about, but it does escalate... I'm wondering if I can defeat the flagship with Pegasus Swarm Halberd Beam. And if the answer to that is yes, how many missiles do I need to pull that off? More than a couple. Yeah, this can win, and I'm not adverse to the idea of Burst Laser 3 Halber Beam. The problem is on Phase 1 of the flagship fight, it's very ill-timed. It's also a ton of money to get online when I could just buy, like, four shields here or something. Probably gonna do that instead. Let's see if there's another store waiting for us here soon. That would be nice as well. Since we don't have access to the cloaking subsystem, I would say getting... How many crew? Okay. Okay, let's defend our ship real quick. I'm also going to swap to Pegasus here, because one hit on the weapons will do it. Okay, that's good. I'm actually going to vent here so they die sooner. Good. Okay. 
Oh. Okay, our clone bay went down. It's a little scary. Three fuel, 51 scrap, well handled. Get this repaired. against the idea of a pulsar the problem is if the pulsar happens um and they have zoltan's shield then it's really difficult so i think i should avoid pulsar altogether right now if i take a full pulsar damage and they have theirs diffused by the shield which will happen since i can't strip the shield very quickly it could be double deadly Oh, sorry about that. Clanking. Enjoy that lurk, fluffy Kirby. All right, science vessel, dock, okay. Okay. Well, we know the trick here. Okay, it's only two Zoltans, so we can strip the shield and get in them red bay pretty quickly. They do have kind of a dangerous weapon system, but I've seen worse. Okay, I'm gonna board shields here. And then we're gonna send two crew to the med bay. She's just gonna walk these guys in and out real quick. Okay, that should be enough. Fired at the same time? Don't do that, dude. Thanks. Okay, those guys are fine. Okay, no store up here. I'm actually going to skip the distress to get more info down here. Maybe not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight before the exit. So seven, eight exit. Let's be seven right there. One, two, what's that? One, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven and a half, eight and a half. Okay, so we probably skip this jump, or this jump. Definitely skip up here. Six, six and a half. Okay, and we'll skip that distress. All right. Five lasers, pike, beam drone. Not, a, not an insignificant setup. 
also energy bombers, so they're going to have a pretty insane amount of crew. Yep. All right. Grateful to have five engines at least. Okay, after the Howard goes off, I'm going to swap to the Pegasus now. I'm also going to wait for my third swarm here. I'm just going to fire out at weapons. i got to slow roll this. Okay, we missed. Well, in that case, let's get in there. Mind control one of these guys. Wow, the dodges were insane there. Loved it. Loved it. Yo, Captain Trez, thanks for 15 months once again. Just thank you for being here on this fine all-day Sunday stream. Appreciate it. No store there either. 343 scrap. We're definitely reaching a point where I should be spending my scrap. Almost certainly on four shields. Alright, I mean, that's pretty chill. Still gonna use the defense drone here. Okay, it's combat drone as well. I'm gonna do the same play as last time. Where we board into... It's actually... Maybe not. Let's go on shields here. Let's abandon this side. Um, let's bring the Lanius over. Go here. gonna get into weapons to start. Once the weapons are down, I'll consider uh, some other warding, like into shields. Before that missile launcher is down, though, we're kind of in a, a semi-weakened state where the missile could hit the clone bay if I board over. Yeah, to me, that's concerning. Swarm's no longer needed. Yo, unlucky crow. Thanks for 68 months. Appreciate that continuation very much. Thank you, dude. I think we kept the rally going on there. Yeah, we are the Scrap King right now. It's true.
problem is we're one one big store away from having a transformation on this run, so I, I really worry about spending too much on weapons. Or too much on the ship before those weapons appear. Though not unfair to say that 389 scraps probably a bit too much scrap to be holding on to. Since we already have our three subsystems out. Alright, alright. A lot of fights coming up. That's cool. Okay, with three fights showing here, let's just buy the four shields and two power bars. We can still buy weapons at the store. But we now have four shields. We also don't know if we're getting a store here. All right, this is a very straightforward ship. Uh, we're just gonna board and then kill their clone bay. I'm gonna go ahead and let the defense drone here because I'm pretty certain they're gonna have time to fire that. Okay, as soon as he dies, I'm gonna roll over here. Okay, I gotta run over here again. Yeah, I, the defense drone's been pretty all right on this run. Not right there, but... He's been doing it. A store. All right, one, two, three, four, five exits. Where we're at. All right, we got crew everywhere. Okay, yeah, so they're they're coming out of battery. That was really nice of them to choose to board into the teleporter. Thanks for that extreme convenience there. Guess I could have started venting right away. All right, sweet. Three fights coming up. This run has not had a shortage of scrap. Weapons, big time shortage. Scrap, not so much. The only three weapons I've seen so far in this run, I guess the repair burst could be thrown in there, but we purchased the Swarm Missile, which I think is a first for me in Sector 2, and then we found Pegasus and Halberd. That's, that's where we're at for functioning weapons. Bought one, purchased two, or purchased one, found two. There we go.
All right, this looks like a defense drone boarding situation. Okay, as soon as one of these uh, crew dies, I can roll over to the clone bay. Or they're all going to die at the same time. That's cool, too. Let's go over here. Going to swap these positions. Because I want the crew that has more health to be able to fight the person that clones. Or, that doesn't happen at all. Even better. Okay. You know, I might skip these jumps to take the store. Because I can go one, two, two and a half, three and a half, and still make the exit. Uh, I think looking at our current weapon system, I'm absolutely going to be trading this extra jump for a store. Yeah, that's a certainty, in fact. Too many life-altering things can happen at the store. But not to pass it. Oh, excuse me. Brutal. One, two, two and a half, three and a half, exit. Yeah. Heavy Ion, Hermes, Heal Bomb. Those are not the weapons. Uh, Combat 2 is something. I don't have the Drone Recovery, but I mean, it's uh, it's an option. I think at the very least, buying Beam Drone here uh, is very smart. Because Beam Drone allows us to get through Phase 3's Super Shield without expending a ton of missiles right now. Alright, let's buy, let's buy Beam Drone. I don't like making that purchase, but I believe it's correct. Okay, no weapon. Okay, Rebel Scout. We have four shields, missile launcher. This is definitely another defense drone style situation. And while this may take a small eternity, on the off chance that the missile launcher does hit our clone bay, I'm going to board with the Lanius here. Okay, that's what I was worried about. That exact thing. Okay, well that helps. Yo, Spike52, thanks for 78 months. That is six and a half years. Thank you, man. Thank you. Woo, that's as close as it gets right there. Not gonna use Swarm. Let's load this up. As soon as this goes down, I'm gonna board with these mana's into the shields. Oof, dude, stop it. Stop it. Got that one. And overall, for this style of ship, the defense drones actually perform pretty well.
the wider your ship is, the less effective defense Strom will be at hitting every projectile. So I'd say we're on on or slightly above average at this moment. Distress, no store. Fair enough, fair enough. Yo, Fab, thanks so much for 13 months and that prime continuation. Cheers. Thank you all for that awesome support today. I'm grateful to be sharing this time and place for our all-day Sunday stream once again. I'm going to bother looking at Matt's employment history here. Just going to hire him. 28 scrap slug. Let's go. All right. Let's go slug pilot. Um, Lanius engines. And we'll go engineer on the sensors. Actually, engineer on the doors because the slug works as a walking sensor. Walking lifeform scanner. This is wandering hobo. Pirate control, they're uncharted. Now, the pirate control has more chance for stores, which is, uh, I believe, where my in game escalation is going to be at. Let's go. All right, bunch of distresses, no store yet. Fair. I'm going to go here in case there's a store here, and then we're head over and up. Really, as nice as these nebulas look, my main priority at this point is to find all of the beacons so I can find the store or stores that exist here. I'll give you four fuel, sure. 61 scrap, I like these guys. Yeah, again, I'd like to take this asteroid field, but I'm gonna skip. I'm just gonna keep pushing ahead. There's other things to do here. Send the rock in. Boom. Defense Scrambler. Okay. Oh, Defense Scrambler is big, guys. Phase 2 is my main concern with this missile launcher setup versus the flagship, and Defense Scrambler means that their defense drone will not work anymore. That's big. Okay, let's go up here first. I'm intending on coming back down to this nebula. Oh, that's big. I guess I can do this now just to reveal these and then go back up. Uh, let's go here first. Three drone parts? Oh, man. Okay, I'll take it, though. Scrap is scrap. No store. Go one, two, three. Or even one, two, three, four. If I do that, I miss out on these. How much do I care about that? At least a little bit. Just gonna take this jump now. The top area does not path out in a good way. Quest marker added to the map. That's me. All right, let's keep pushing this way. Okay, we're gonna finally get a manly search the wreckage event. Yeah, system repair drone. All right, we found a store. Huzzah. 
Do I take it now? Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven before the exit. How many before this one? One, two, three, four, five. So it needs to be five here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's it. That's what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, store, what do you got? Make it good. Sector 7 store, 429 scrap to spin. Bazinga, dude. Flak 1, Burst Laser 2, finally. Something we can work with. Finally. Still think we keep the defense scrambler. All right, so yeah, I'm just going to swap to Halberd, Burst Laser, 2 Flak. These missile weapons have really worked for us this run, but... I need two weapon power. Let's just buy it now. Now we have six projectiles Halberd, which is adequate. Great. All right, I'm also going to repair to 23 here. Then we're going to ride this uh, line up this way. Actually, hold on. I should go one, two, three, four, five. This is six, then the exit. So we can include these two as part of our estimation. Gonna wait to spend until I see this jump, because it could be another store. But if not, probably just buying power and some other junk. Alright. Uh, long range scanner. Boom. What's up, Zass? Zass, the shield trained human. Right on, dude. Dr. Drock. Yeah, drone parts would be okay there too, but um, I don't think I need those. I think we'll find one repair station. I think buying two to three drone parts there would have been a good choice as well. Those guys are fine. These guys are not. Oh, and Daisy's having a little kitty dream in the window. She's twitching. Had a little kidder dream. What a cutesy patootsy. Yo, Kadon, thanks for 118 months. 118. Cheers. Alright, what are we getting here? Ah, uh, we walked right into the Rebel's Trap. Dang it. Alright, I'm gonna board their shield room here. And then uh, I'm gonna mind control one of their guys, too. Alright, we're just gonna go for a weapons hit here. Now that we actually have a weapon system that can hit things, how nice is that? I shouldn't have fired yet. I goofed. 
Okay, at least that went down, I guess. We can dodge one of these. Oh, yeah. That could have been much better timed on my end, but we were unpunished for our mistake. Gonna buy two power bars right now, at least. Dang, Kadunk, two more for the decade of support. That's quite a while. Oh, hey, let's put the let's put the this guy here. Forgot we had that going on. Definitely helps if the weapons are manned. All right, three lasers, defense drone, beam. Oh, dreamy, dude. I'm definitely going to snag some training here, all right? Doesn't even have to be, like, super crazy. It's going to get a little bit. Just getting our engines and piloting. Excuse me, fully trained here. Very big deal. Very big deal. All right, grabbing a quick refill on my drink. I'll return momentarily, and then we'll chill for a minute while we grab a little bit of training. I definitely don't see myself going all the way on weapons here, but... Piloting and engines, certainly. All right, where are we at right now? Barely scratching the surface on weapons, that's fair. 
All right, doing great on piloting. Incredibly rare to receive a training opportunity at the end of Sector 7. And I don't think training is irrelevant here on this current composition. Flak 1, Burst Laser 2, Halberd Beam is pretty good, but it's not... It's not a slammer. I mean, we're going to have to execute very good on the flagship fight and get a little bit lucky as well. So maybe firing 20% faster and having more dodge could be a big deal. As soon as our piloting and engine training is done, I'm going to drop my engines completely so I can transfer over to shield training. Ding. Okay, they both got there, dropping it. can flex in some halberd hits here. I'll manually control this for a minute. It's definitely worth it. Oh, he's fully trained on shields too, wow. The weapon's zit then, huh? I think at least halfway on weapons about minimum here. I'm gonna go halfway exactly on weapons. I didn't quite mean to hit there, but I did. Yeah, halfway on weapons. How many is that? That's 19 more firings. I can do that. Boy, I think this defense scrambler find that we got makes our offense so much better versus the flagship because six projectiles versus four shields with halberd beam seems manageable. Five projectiles versus four shields with halberd beam seems like your uh, volley may not hit sometimes. Oh. Um, nah. Didn't actually mean to hit there? Dang it. You know what this means is I'm going to be uh, just killing this ship rather than boarding, which is fine. I guess I can still board and kill here, I guess. Five more in range. Mm -hmm. 
All right, time to board now. Hitting only the med bay. Okay, that's not great. I'm going to mind control this guy. Kidding me right now? All right. Well, yeah, I'll load up a nine projectile setup then. You better believe it. I mean, Halberd Beam's great, but have you considered nine projectiles? In addition, these projectiles are um, protected. So, in the last two jumps, we've picked up two burst laser twos and a flak. I mean, granted, we bought uh, two of those, but. Um, really goes to show the beauty of this game that you can get no weapons the entire run and then just get bailed out as long as you're patient and diligent enough. A really nice setup. All right. There's a small temptation to go back to the store to sell the halberd beam now, but I don't think that's correct. Uh, another thing we could do here is buy potential drum parts. I also don't believe that's correct. Let's just go now. I have nine projectiles, so versus regular ships, I can actually just hit them. That's nice. Okay, boarding and med bay. Uh, and this. Okay, we'll defense drone here down to one part. Do I let them board here or nah? I do let them board here. Okay, they boarded. Now I boarded them. I'm just going to mind control this guy right now. And we'll send our boarders over. All right, six fuel, 63 scrap, nice haul. Ooh, there is a store here, awesome. I was holding out hope for that. Sometimes all you gotta do is believe. All right, automated realtor, we probably want at the store. Um, sell off our halberd beam. Maybe buy a couple of drone parts. Invest in the ship. Oh, I ain't surrendering crew to Schlavers. You kidding me, dude? You kidding me? Nuh uh. Alright, for starters, triple or double NG, double human, no problem. I'm gonna wait for my weapons just for a second here. Now we're gonna board. Okay, they do have system repair, but it's dead. Mm -hmm. 
Cool, we hit in time that time. Okay, defense drones down. That's too bad, so sad. Let's turn this auto fire off before it burns me here. All right, store. Can afford not to clone here since we have that going on. What do, what do? Not adverse to the idea of combat too here. Or just combat one and we get into a, a DPS race situation with the flagship. I'm gonna buy these four. Um, gonna buy level two here and here and here and here. My value point here as well. All right. I think combat one's pretty reasonable to purchase here. Also, I know we're getting a repair at the start of the next sector, so I'm not going to buy a repair here at the store. Let's go ahead and buy engine power bar. Okay. Examine the station. Free stuff. Thanks, station. Alright, we did it. Looks like we're going to get a repair station on the way over, unless it's overtaken right away, which it could be. One repair station would make my combat drone purchase feel a lot nicer. Okay, big missile launcher here. I'm just going to board the shields right away. Actually, let's let them board me first. that hit. Why wouldn't it? Alright, he's back. He's dead. Please tell me the repair station's active still. It is. Good, good. next It is indeed talk layer, and we got all of this in the last four jumps of Sector 7. 
been a hell of a run. Alright, what am I buying for 124 scrap right now? Don't think that value drones is incorrect, so I'm probably going to use both. And if I'm using both, then I need power. So I need to buy two power at least. Okay, maybe could have could have got away with one power. Let's buy a value drone here. Also swap the beam for the combat. The beam is much better on phase three. Defense drone. I'm just going to board right away this time. Nice. 78 scrap. That is amazing. Depose. Thanks for 48 months. Appreciate that four years. Thank you all for being here on this wonderful all day Sunday stream. Happy to be here <laughs> sharing this time and place. Hey, you as well, Geekum. Thank you. to make this repair station because then I can very freely use combat drones. I guess I might as well take this jump. Right, nothing here. Fair. Ooh. I mean, I could fight the flagship and possibly leave this repair open. I think that's what I should do. Go here and then plan to go boom, boom. All right, 87 scrap remains. Let's go ahead and buy an engine power because I can do this. I'm going to use defense at the start, but not combat. I'm also strongly debating jumping onto their shields after we hit them to keep them damaged. Though so getting getting crew kills here seems somewhat unlikely. Let's uh let's see what happens. So it begins. Okay, I should have let that one through. One, two. Um, no, that was probably battery. Okay, what's this aimed at? Sensors or battery? I'm letting this one through. Okay, battery does drain some of our power, but that's all right. There is fire in here. Um, let's just board is four right now. Including a rock here. Our crew will likely die in this exchange, but the shields will continue going down, which is the important piece. Okay, let's do that. 
Okay, we got a couple kills there. Good. Down to one freaking shield right now? Oh, man. Alright, that went pretty good. Okay, cool, the repair is open. So we get to recover the damage we took on phase one. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Alright, I think we go combat defense again for phase two, and then on phase three I swap to combat beam drone. I didn't think the kitties in the window get any cuter, but they just did. They just did. What good kitters. Fighting them at the base phase two is what we want to do anyways. Uh, I'm probably going to do a similar strat where I board after hitting the shields just to keep them down. Seems legit. Boarding to some of their exterior weapons can also be a choice here, but I think ending this combat as quickly as possible should be my immediate and very direct goal. go. Yes, I did nuke my own crew there, but I also got some crew kills. <laughs> Unbelievable. There's even more cats in the window. Phase two's down. That was a really nice phase two. Okay, this is probably not getting repaired. Time. Let's try venting this. That'll be faster than repairing in this particular case. Yes, it is a good deal that you installed the third cat window C, because now the, all the cats share one instead. What a kitty thing to do. Okay, that was a really good, really good phase two. 80 scrap to spend here. I'm probably just going to buy power bars at this moment. Yeah, let's. Okay, I'm also going to swap to the very offensive uh, beam combat drone setup. So phase three, in addition to having its normal stuff, has a 10 shot super volley and has a 12 power Zoltan super shield at the start of combat that we have to get through. That's where beam and combat drones are going to come in handy. It should mean that our weapon systems actually realized by our second volley. Excuse me. It's 
excuse my uh, infrequent coughing and uh, somewhat raspy voice today. I've got really atrocious air quality in my area right now. Uh, it's not a complaint. We're safe and uh, frankly, I think have it better than most, but it is is affecting me today. Doubt about it. All right, counter mind control. Okay, let's defend these borders. Okay, let's go. So I always have the option of jumping back to the base since I left that for myself. Ooh, it's already down. Uh, maybe we won't be doing that. Let's see how this next set of boardings goes. Any crew we run away with or kill here are just done for good. Seems like Okay, looks pretty good. So I can jump away here and reset the fight. I haven't taken damage yet. Um I think I'm actually gonna do that because they're down to two crew now. And the super volley hasn't arrived yet, and we haven't taken damage. So we'll basically just get a better look at phase three by jumping back right now. Dodge the missiles, dodge the super volley. Uh, just reset the fight here, basically, with they have less crew. Is the exact reason we fight phase two at the base so we can jump into them phase three and have this opportunity. Okay, phase three beginneth again. The re-beginning begins again right now. This time next week, but tomorrow maybe. You know, I think I'm going to leave this mind control. Yeah, let's do it. Because this means I'll have mind control up to hit their pilot. Sounds awesome. Okay, they have no more borders. Uh, maybe I maybe I don't. Maybe I just board shields here. Yeah, let's board shields and I'll mind control the pilot. There we go. There we go. Okay, my drones are on fire. That's annoying. Should go for piloting here. There we go. Ooh, okay. Uh, combat drone for now, yeah. He's run to the med bay. Good for him. Let's pull our crew back. Yo ho, GG. Mantis C victory. A hard fought victory on that one, as Mantis C often is. You throw your guesses for a score there. I think we were well over 6K just based on how much scrap we were holding. There was one point in Sector 6 where I had almost 500 scrap on hand. We weren't quite maxed on engines, but. It's a solid run overall, I think. Six sixty one twenty five is my guess.
Let's see, 55.95, lower than I imagined. Only 39 ships defeated, interesting. Pretty low there. 39's not a lot. All right, really, really nice run. All right, guys, we're going to head into uh, a bit of the balloons. Here we go. Get my title swapped up here. Get the capture fixed here in just a moment as well. Event going on. Not too interested in the events this time around. What is this? Okay, so we got to finish off our medals for Quarry, though we did uh, we did knock out chimps. So this is kind of just like a cleanup. Yeah, it looks like we're just on to advanced maps in general. Do, 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 yeah, I've got some toughies left here. Uh, let's go ahead and work on some X-Factor. Also, X-Factor, what hero do I want for X-Factor? I think I probably want a hero that can hit globally. Uh, I think Mr. Drones does seem pretty tempting for camo vision as well, especially coming towards chimps mode. But... Thinking Psy here looks pretty all right. And let's give Psy a go for a minute. All right, let's do... Magic monkeys only. Okay. This is going to be a doozy, dude. Magic monkeys only. I might have to choose Oban for this. Well, for the moment, let's go ahead and just do it this way. Round one comes through here. All right, we get time here. So... We have a moment. We can probably get Psy down. Great. Psy has a global presence, which is very nice. Put Psy on strong here. I can also hit uh, camo balloons very early into their upgrade tree. Let's take a look here. Ceramic on seven, okay. I think he actually has camo, or she actually has camo at the start. Yeah, okay. Hey, Mo Gurks, thanks for 26 months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thank you for that. Um, I should definitely put something down, but what? I think maybe a Vine Druid to start could be um, an adequate purchase. Let's go up here. Just centralize on this. Okay. Cool. Cool. 
Oh wow, Druid's really good on this, I'm just now noticing. This this spot is very beneficial. Fire action there, hell yeah, dude. new appreciation for druid on this map to be honest this map kind of wrecked me the first time i played it I had a tough time with it Does anybody, any, like, Bloons Legend in the chat know which direction the Moab comes from? I think it's up here and coming down this way, but I honestly don't remember. Wow, this, this strategy is, like, almost chimps-worthy. Did not expect Druid to put in so much work here. I guess that's what Druid does. Puts in the work. Alright, there we go. go hard thorns here and then I'm going for a second vine seems like having global presence is uh, immensely beneficial here doing there, Sai? Like, Sai's voice is lower than some of the other uh, things. Fair enough. Right up here. That'll do. Where does this Moab come from? Twenty-seven, twenty. It's gonna be here. It's gonna be here. know if this makes arcane spike in time I'm gonna guess not Thirty-seven. We're gonna need more camo vision. Got it. Let's just go here for right now. Let's see how much cash we have left um, before forty here. I think killing the Moab is gonna be difficult.
bad, not bad. Cleaning up, cleaning up. All right, we're not making arcane spike. Not yet, anyways. We'll see about this. Oh, it doesn't come from the direction I thought it did. Well, now we know. We know. Okay, right here. Very good. Showtime, go I'm going to put down double druid, but I'm only going to make one of them a bind druid. This felt pretty stable last time, putting druid and druid here. I can we get a little crossfire on these druids. Like it's pretty sweet that the projectiles travel over. Pretty sweet. Better than ever. Better than ever. I'm also thinking the mage belongs right here in the corner. It's an additional option I could pick up. Um, Ninja here and do Sticky Bomb. Dude, this look at the druids are hitting all the way over here too. It's nuts. It's nuts. I'm gonna guess lightning does not travel through the underground bunker. That's me current feeling. Yo, smug sub El Nub Nub. Thank you so much for 113 months of support. Appreciate that very much. Yo, 
Yeah, it'll probably pop if you uh, refresh delayed. They made a change notification recently. It's a little bit confusing, but thank you very much, Delayed Storm, for your 27 months of support. Appreciate that. All right, I believe with Psy, this is going to hold until I get Arcane Spike up, and Arcane Spike should allow me to at least dunk the Wave 40 Moab. At least. Uh, seems like the guided shot on the mage is pretty major here. Bump up the volume. Boy, magic monkeys are sure good. Real good that his uh, projectile is able to travel from one side of the map to the other. Definitely helpful. Yo, Anonymous, thanks so much for that gift. Really appreciate it. Cheers. I mean, I believe I make Arcane Spike here. I should. Side to the point where they can pop lead yet. Yes. Wow, are we going to make this? No, we're not. We're not. Okay. How much does this cost in total? Let's do 29, 48. Call that 5, call that 8. Okay, so I can get Ninja Sticky Bomb down here. Go here. That'll do it. I'm just going to populate a few druids here. It seems to be a very high-functioning high, high functioning unit on its own. Right, now we're saving up for Arcane Spike. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go into one more Viney druid here before I do that. Good to see you, Evil Kados. We did indeed defeat Mesa. Wouldn't be playing another map otherwise.
Yeah, the Sticky Bomb Ninja one-shots up to reinforced regular Moab. Cane spikes out, that's very nice. Uh, I feel what I'm gonna do is just do another arcane spike mage on this side. In here. I should have given Sai a different location for this, but it's alright. Yeah, I think Psy might be my chimp's pick here, because it can, it can pull the ceramics from the Moabs when they die, which is massive. Yo, Evil Kato's, thanks so much for that very generous 5 gifts sub package in celebration of that maze of victory. Thank you. The map certainly was a journey, but a very productive journey that I learned a lot about the game with. Can't be too upset about it. Was 70 whole hours of attempts, though. It's a lot. Get him, sign, get him. Oh, well, there you have it. There's our leak. Okay. Uh, yeah, slightly different location on Psy. I'm also thinking that I can probably escalate without Sticky Ninja for something else. But alas, we are three and a half hours into the broadcast. I'm going to stand up, stretch real quick, use the restroom, grab some water, and grab a very quick snack, which is already prepared, thanks to my lovely wife. Uh, I'll be back in just a few minutes for some more fun. Please do enjoy the kitties that will appear here on Treat Camera in a moment. They just don't realize it's treat time yet. Sleepy kitties today. Be back in just a minute for some more X Factor balloons attempts.
All right, we have returned. Thanks so much for your patience during that brief one. We're back. I'm fed. Cats are also fed. It's happening. I would say overall here, our attempts have gone pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a Psy not on one edge. Let's put him so he can intercept the the first Moab, like here. Showtime, go time! Showtime, go time. Should be on strong as well. Sai, I think, really performs excellently on strong. Let's thank you all for being here for another awesome all day Sunday stream. I don't know how many weeks in a row we've done this now, but several. It was nice to reboot this little tradition. We had these going for a while, but got away from it for due to a variety of reasons. Mostly because we had our Fragmas uh, and then. I had other projects going on. Speaking of Fragment, it's just a few months away here, and we have our 31 streams in the month of December uh, coming up soon. No time at all, it'll be Fragments. It's going to be our 8th annual Winter Fragments this year. Man. The time does fly. It's been a nice way to carry on the tradition of the two-year livestream challenge and beyond. But as I always say, whether you've been watching since day one of the two-year livestream challenge, or it's your first time tuning in today, just thank you so much for the time you're choosing to spend here right now. Appreciate that most of all. if mage is going to be more proactive over here. This map's just really tricky because it's technically a quad path and there's very little convergence area. Huge bear. Hard to believe it's been 18 months already. Enjoy that lurk. Speaking of lurkers, let's do our lurker roll call right now, a little bit earlier than usual. If you're lurking in the channel, I mean you're an active watcher, but not an active chatter. You have the capability to, and you want to. Now's your time to post some of your favorite emotes in the chat. Just thank you all for your silent contribution. You truly are the lifeblood of this entire site, but none more so than this channel and community right here. Thank you, thank you. Hard thorns. And then ninja time. Ninji. Get ninja uh, tucked as far south as we can go here. As far south as far east. Okay. I know I have enough money to, to make it this time. Uh, so we science this out already. So I'm just going to go into the two, two, one first. That should stop any potential leaks. Oh, some quick fellers right there. Dang. 
Look at all those beautiful lurkers. Thank you, everybody. The best of the best. Hey there, Zipporos, Scandamoose, Quarterheart Gaming, Samurai 7, Craven the Fox, Potato Archer, Cake Donut, Big Bear Kraus, Mo Gurks, Dark Light, Good Qualt, Rodrigo, Godrigos. Hey there, Lecter, Master Toaster, Goss 6, Korngar, and all the rest. you all amazing. Thanks for doing what you do. Lurking like pros. Put you on strong. It's interesting how much uh, more he is loading the caltrops onto this side. Just unlucky, I guess, or maybe unlucky is not the right word for that. Unfortunate. bad i mean very little slip there don't even have to worry about that on this mode okay there's that okay so we had the money for a second vine druid is what that says So could have done that first. Probably dug some good effect. Yep, slipping right now. Next time we'll go double Vine Druid and pick up the Sticky Bomb Ninja right before 40. Bump up the ball, yo! Let's get to camo vision here. I'm gonna put a second mage up on this side, I think. Good. Sai is not quite crushing ceramic. Oh yeah, he is. I take it back. Alright, double Arcane Spike. I think I can afford to... Or double uh, Arcane Mastery, rather. I believe I can go into Arcane Spike now. Uh, Vindrus have a global presence, uh, Yoho, so they... Uh, basically, it's one path this way and one path this way, but they also alternate uh, which side they come from.
the problem now becomes surviving 63 and some of the other um, more aggressive waves. We got a pretty good start, though. Pretty decent. I don't think going to, like a couple more vine druids is technically wrong here either. Could just go for the quadruple vine druid. Okay, I think that's the wave that got us last time. Pretty sure. Okay, now that we have one of those out, I'm gonna do exactly that. I'm gonna go. Uh, Druid here, Druid here. Nice. Mm -mm. That is a solid, sick food indeed, Smurfizzle. Indeed. Yeah, removing the middle is definitely an option here, but it costs 2k, and you don't actually get to fire into the middle area, so I think removing the the platform on this map in particular is a little bit difficult to justify. Oh, wow, the bomb went off while he was under there. That was interesting. You know what I bet would do awesome on the top rung? A Necromancer. Could probably summon in all four lanes, in fact. Yeah, that was the issue last time, too. We weren't getting enough um, Moab damage out. We have 6,800 there. All right. Second ninja right here, maybe. Instead of these guys. Time go time. Almost applying the sticky bomb rather late in some cases too. I wonder if it's better to have the ninja more out front. Uh, it's hard to imagine that'd be a yes. A little further back though, maybe so he's applying the bomb sooner. An idea. Okay, I'm going to try doing quad druid at the start here to see if that stabilizes. I know I can do um, four druids plus two vine druids and still make sticky bomb ninja by 40. That's what I learned on the last attempt. Are you on strong? You're not. Should be. But quad druid as a, a beginning seems pretty, pretty awesome.
Let's actually go out here. Yo, Kern117, thanks for 79 months. Wow. Thank you, man. Come back for hard thorns. Go ahead and go here. We don't need any hard thorns until 27. Even then, uh, the side can take down leaded blooms. Yo, Curran, thanks for almost 80 months of support. And Curry, Ninja, Brad, what a name, what a player. Welcome to the Dapper. Appreciate that Prime sub. Alright, now it has to be ninja. I gotta decide where the ninja is gonna be placed. Yes, we sure did, Chasley. We sure did. Wouldn't be playing this map otherwise. There it is. Alright, so my thought here is kind of get a worse placement on the ninja, but I get a faster application of the sticky bomb on this side. I think there's a sweet spot and it's right about here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Thank you, Chazley. It was certainly uh, well fought on Mesa. I enjoyed it. Definitely improved my balloon skill set for that challenge. Did I go hard thorns here? I did not. I didn't need to. Hmm. That's fair. Okay, one of these should have hard thorns. Does Super Monkey fit on any of these? No. Go Ninja, go Ninja, go! Ability is looking very nice right here. Yo, Buckethead01, thanks for 19 months. Thanks for seven with Prime, man. Okay, I'll go hard thorns now. Okay, so we still had cash left over after that. Good to know. Um, alright, this is moment of truth here. 
Yeah, so you've got the Sticky Bomb applied way sooner from this location instead of hugged in here. I think that's going to be a big help. We saw in the last failed attempt that if we apply the bomb really late and the Moab goes in here, they're immune when the bomb goes off. So this is technically not part of the map. Though the bomb still exists on the same timer. I'm going to go for next instead of putting a mage. I'm going to put a, a sticky bomb ninja on this side too. I'm going to mirror it. strategy hank ended up being uh perma spikes was the gist of it perma spikes and then a stall on the left lane Here we go bomb up the ball yo yeah embrittlement ice did seal the deal on mesa what good kidders I got? What good kidders? Not that one. This one over here. Hi, Daisy. Hold on. Hold on, Daisy. I'll come, I'm coming get you. There's that good kidders. All right, I got double sticky bomb out now. I'm going to start worrying about uh, plugging our damage a little bit here. I think I can go into Arcane Spike now. It, to me, this seems the reasonable play. Well, this guy is strong. Yeah, between Sai and the four druids, they're pulling all the ceramics out of single Moabs. That's awesome. Okay, cool. The bomb's going off in time. Uh, so Pike QC, if you go to the last VOD uh, under the videos tab on my channel that has Mesa showing, that'll be the one. Should probably include a link in that command. But here we are. Oh no. Okay. So it's been the same, uh, the same Moab that gets through each time on 54. And that's the one down here. So this sticky bond's applying in time, but this one is not. Why is that? Is this guy not far enough over? Seems to be about the same art. Okay, let's try again. Oh, hey, let's put Psy down here, and then I will uh, use my stun on 54. That'll get us over the hump.
Thanks for updating that. Got a couple ideas here. All right, I was going to load up the quad druid like we did last time because it was an effective strategy. Yeah, I can't take full credit for that one, Chasley, but we definitely learned a lot about um, long term spikes on that attempt. I think a spike factory is going to be a part of uh, most chimps attempts I do. Maybe not on a map like this with four, uh, four paths, but on a lot of them. A fan of uh, Psy Hink? Yeah, Psy is really good. I like Psy on maps where you don't have a good coverage routes. They're just really, uh, really strong at taking out these stronger balloons. Also great for Moab cleanup in the early game. I think when I originally tried X Factor, Psy was not a hero. I'm almost certain of that. I'm gonna get the second druid to vines and I'm gonna buy hard thorns and we're putting down sticky bomb ninja. Yo, Afterlife Mag, thanks for 39 months if I missed you earlier. Thank you for your patience in that regard if I did. Me dang. Thanks for that smurf. All right, let's go back here again like last time. Uh, smart. Don't get as good a coverage on the lane, but I get the sticky bomb applied in time to actually uh, take it out. Yeah, I haven't been using Benjamin very much myself, Big Bear, only because when I get down to doing half cash and chimps, I can't really use Ben. Love me some extra income, though. Probably not a half bad option for this map.
Hmm, I want stronger first. I think I'm just gonna keep him on first this time. thorns all right now I'm gonna quad up on the vine druids Alright, so we keep getting messed up on 54 down here. Let's go ahead and build Arcane Spike Mage on this side. This should do it. There's a pretty big difference. I was offsetting all on this side last time. I think I'm gonna try Necromancer on top of this after I stabilize with uh, Arcane Spike Mage. Cane spikes out. I'm actually going to double up here. Let's be on strong. Alright, so if he's able to take the Moab out on this side, he'll be able to finish the one on this side too. Yep. Okay, good. Moment of truth time. This is the way this has been getting us. But I believe my arcane spike mage being on this side will be helpful. Yep. That was the one that slipped last time. Cool. Cool beans. We're strong too. Got that then. Now what? I mean, a second sticky bomb on the other side doesn't seem incorrect. Could also just buff up these. There, let's remove this and see if I can make a play with Mage. 
kind of issue with this play is you don't get any extra coverage in the middle for having done this. Sixty look rather silly there. All right, all right. We are touching all of the lanes here. That's awesome. Very cool. Okay, good. I saw we got the reinforced Moab there. That's great. Okay, 63 is looking like we got it. Later, Tater. Toss down a balloon jitsu right here. A little troubling. Turns out it's fine though. Yeah, I do think Super Monkey could work here, but you lose a lot of the radius to the central placement, so I don't think Super Monkey in the middle here would be as a fed. I think anything's going to be in there is going to be uh, Necromancer slash Prince of Darkness. Feels that way to me, anyways. Closer than I would have liked. Not sure how ball lightning would work out here. Definitely worth thinking about.
Almost a slip there. Good thing almost doesn't count. Yep. So it's pretty consistently this lane that's slipping. All right, let's do it again. I think just some more raw popping power like uh, Blue Ninjutsu Ninjas on these would be definitely warranted. Sai right here. Open certainly fine on this map. Our decision to use Psy doesn't have anything to do with the effectiveness of other heroes. Just wanted to use Psy this time around. Open's going to be a solid choice for any map where you intend on using uh, magic monkeys. Oh, but also has tracking shots, so he's probably overall pretty effective on this map. Sure can. There you go, Pit Boss. Yo, so if my thanks for 57 months. Appreciate that continuation very much. No problem, Pit Boss. Thanks for your interest. They're all going to come from this down here, static control. This is where the wave 40 Moab comes, and where the wave 40 Moab comes from is the indicator for where the wave 60, 80, and 100 Moabs will arrive. bottom left. Mm -hmm. Volume pump.
gonna da da da. All right, second druid going to vines, and we grab one hard thorns, and we save for sticky bomb ninja. It's official. So we can go double hard thorn, which is probably better. some windage druids here could be all right too gotta pull them back a little bit so it gets the application in time It's definitely one of the best out there saying guy Asia. I would highly recommend Bloons if you want to try a tower defense game. Got a huge amount of content and strategies and a uh, very fair model. If you just play the game, everything unlocks quite naturally. I have no problem getting into it, even if you haven't played the other blooms as well. No, uh, no previous uh, game required to understand or do well in blooms. Give me that sticky bone. That was a nice application there. Uh, the lore is very minimal boss. Just the monkeys and balloons are at battle. Take that, you stinky balloons. Okay, I need to, uh, like, spend some money here. Okay, we saw last time that Arc or the uh, Arcane Spike Mage performed very well here. This got us past 54 at least. So let's do that. I'm going to lean this guy a little bit south. Just getting better coverage in here. I think also last time I went into the Vine Druids first. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Okay.
All right, there's one arcade spike. So last time I went for what? I went for a second arcade spike, right? Over here. Still seems appropriate. Yeah, this works. Okay, maybe not getting a reinforced Moab on that side, and that's fair. I think it's a, a very uh, clean play. I can go ahead and just put Druids down. These don't need to be Vine Druids. It's really about just getting coverage area on the rest of the map, right? Get decent coverage off these. They pop stuff. There, is there room for Magic Monkey in here? No, I did not leave a spot for him. Oh, well. Let's pull him up a little bit. Again, we keep leaking on this, this path, so... Keep it simple, keep it cool. Pump up the volume. Don't pump up the volume so high, though, that you wake up Daisy the cat, though. You're very sleepy. Very sleepy. Yikes. Okay. Well, we almost died there, but we didn't. Okay, almost doesn't count. You know what I think I'm going to do here? I think I'm going to make these guys win druids. I think we clear 63 with what we currently have. It's leaks that are the problem. Should have started up here with that. All right. Kim Kim Wimdy in here. Alright, 63 moment of truth. Let's see how we doing. Pretty good. Looks like pretty good. I got the two ability to knock out the last wave if we need it.
So far, so good. Now what? I think I'm going to do that thing I said last time. I'm just going to load up some Balloon Jitsu Ninjas. Yo, board. Thanks for that. Tier 2, 63 month subscription. Appreciate that. And OSC Bacon. Thanks for 47 months. You rock. We tested out that out last run, Casera. Can summon from all four tracks if it is in the center. So I think Necromancer is generally pretty good, but uh, tough to pay 2k to remove uh, this on magic only. gonna do it does this actually reach that side no i guess i'll do here for this ninja yeah basically underneath this section does not exist casera it's more like a, a tunnel than anything Why did that go through, though? Excuse me? Excuse me? All right, here it is. Should have used my two ability there. All right, 76, I do need to use my two, no doubt about it. Might as well. Later, taters. Oh, Psy's getting Moabs now? Alright, that's good. That's definitely good. my two up for the second set here it might still be might still be up in time it's a long wave
Also pretty confident we died if I didn't use the ability there. Pretty certain. Seventy nine is like one very large, consistent wave, and I'd say with very few exceptions, if you're surviving seventy eight, you survive seventy nine. Gonna be the deficit if there is any. There we go. Okay, I can stun when it comes through and use my two. The two will clear out the blue style Moabs. We're looking good here. Line me up. G G. All right, magic only done. Very nice. Uh, let's grab Super Monkey here. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. What's left on easy? Just deflation. Fair. Let's go ahead and grab deflation here and see what happens. Let's throw Psy down up here. Check out sniper placements on this map. Oh, they're not blocked by the middle portion. Interesting. Okay, well, snipers are badass then. Let's go sniper. Let's give this guy bouncing bullet. Faster firing. Let's give him a... Alchemist. Go faster throwing, sure. Alright, you're on strong. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this guy over here too. I want to see if this works. Uh, I'd probably go shrapnel shot. We got 1700 left. Let's just throw a glue gunner down. Is 1700 enough to reach Vine Druid? Yeah. Perfect. All right, gonna let this roll, and while we do, gonna take a very, uh, just gonna stand up, stretch it, my legs real quick. Sorry for mute mid sentence there. Uh, please do enjoy this cuter kidder right there. There she is. I'll be back in just a minute for some more fun. This has to roll out, though. What a good kidders, though.
Whoops, forgot to set autoplay there. My bad. That happens often on deflation mode. Here we go. So we've got main Moab sniper, we have a bouncing bullet sniper. What a good getters. Dude, it is nasty outside right now. My goodness. My goodness. Glad to be here and have the stream as a distraction. Thank you all for the continued opportunity to be here, entertain you, and curate this experience where we get to enjoy a video game together. How awesome is that? Always great to be around people enjoying things, and also nice to have a chill place just to hang out with all the crazy stuff going on in the world today. To have a few hours just decompress for a bit means a lot to me. Thanks for making it happen. I gotta believe we're good here. All right, bye, Daisy. See you later. I guess video games have always been for me uh, a temporary respite from all the craziness of life, so to be able to have this experience so many years later is pretty special. While having opinions about things going on in the world is very important, I also very strongly believe that it's important to have places that are in between where you have time to think about things. I think much of the way information is presented <laughs> online and generally in the world is, is very polarizing and often you need a uh, time to think about it. It's very easy to get caught up feeling uh, very strongly one way or another. But time for reflection is probably, at least for me, the most important part in <laughs> the thought process. And with all the things going on, it's very natural to be able to fall into kind of an outrage cycle, I guess, where you read all the headlines and see all the bad things happening and feel sad or outraged at all the things happening, which is very natural and I think uh, important to feel that way too. But it's also good to take a time to think why or think about how experience those things makes you want to act rather than being angry at somebody. Unfortunately, at the end of it all, we only really have control over our words and our actions. And that's going to be a work in progress for everybody, because, uh, <laughs> humanitis. Me too. Me too. Okay. 
Yeah, this is looking pretty solid right now. Uh-oh, uh -oh. spaghettis? We're fine. We're fine. Let's pop this and get a little closer here. That's good. Yo, Brag1, thanks for that Prime sub. Appreciate those 15 months. Thank you. Thank you. good then because wave 60 is just going to be moab and this main moab sniper is going to stun it out bg all right what's next Yo, oh, nice Maverick. Yeah, we got there. Okay, Medium just has Apocalypse. Honestly, Apocalypse is terrifying to think about on this map. Double HP Moabs. All right, all right. Double HP Moabs. I think I'm going to stick with Sai. I haven't used Sai in a long time, and I think they're just a really, uh, really natural fit for this map. Put, uh, let's put Psy down. Let's go out here a little bit. Oh. Here. Spot. Winston, you can't go in the closet, but there's no there's no reason for you to need to go in there. Okay, bud. No need at all. You're right. It could be the door out of the room. Fair. That's fair. I mean, it's not, but it could be. Okay, I'm gonna stick with this double um, druid start because I think it's good. Definitely not going primarily a magic strat here, I don't think, but certainly this double druid put in work last time. Oh, hey, let's turn auto start off, huh? So say for double HP Moabs, it's pretty likely I'm going to want a main Moab Sniper. So we got to figure out the point at which we can afford that. I guess with our magic only strat, we actually have that set up. We go quad druid and then we can save for... Uh, we get a sticky bomb ninja last time. Um, sticky bomb ninja and main Moab Sniper are not the same cost though. Not even close. Okay, let's grab one Vine Druid, and then we'll try for Mamo Sniper from there. Let's 
check something real quick. As uh, part of our no frills format, something I don't mention very often, uh, no tablet, no phone, no side browsers, Discord open while I stream, etc. Do everything I can to be present here in this moment. Drew the jungles out. I'll grab hard thorns on this one, and then we'll put sniper down. Oh, got a free glue monkey. Let's toss them right here. Keep you on first for right now. I guess I shall go strong here. Pretty convinced it's going to be a faster firing as well. Camo vision on the sniper is definitely nice, but we're not dealing with DDTs, so less stress on that. I wonder how Sai and the ninja interact with both being on strong targeting. As far as I know, the, the sniper can't miss, so it's probably separate hit scans. Bop up the volume. Not too loud, though. My kitty's sleeping. Don't pump the volume too much, Sai. He might wake up a sleepy kitty. Nobody wants that. What about that tail, Daisy? What is that? How are you sleeping right now? Oh, I see it. Okay. I get it now. You're weird. Got it. Check the total cost here, 32 and 54. Yeah, I need about every last cent I have here to reach May Moab. I could grab a second vine, though. I'm not going to do that. I want to see this, though. I think a second vine's probably <laughs> smart. Oh yeah, there's going to be a camo wave 37 coming up that might do me a major disservice here if I don't grab something. We'll see about that. I do have shield and 100 health, so I could uh, technically let that go. Also, putting some income down could be a great idea on these modes, but... Yeah, I need camo something. Bear. Sai's got that one, cool. 
Well played, Sai. Well played. Alright, staying alive, staying alive. Oh, it's only 4,400. Okay. Okay, I get it. Alright, this is gonna be a Bloon Jitsu ninja. He's gonna do Bloon Jitsu stuff. Like, kill those stinky balloons. Nice job, nice job. All right, cool. All right, wave 40 is down. We have Bloon Jitsu. Let's grab Caltrops as well. That's pretty freaking solid here. Engineer. Where do I want engineer? Back here, in fact. Let's see where he throws these. Oh, he can throw them on the little platform. Okay. Okay. It's rockets, then. Let's go for pin. I need more camo coverage. All right, how about we remove this on this one? And I put down this necromancer with shimmer. There we go. Now we shims in. Here I said I wasn't going to a magic strat, and here we are. Using the magics. Not totally convinced our graveyard's going to be adequate here. Um, do I care about guided magic? I think I might actually just go a uh, wall of fire here. Guided magic does make the balloons travel further. Man, a graveyard uh, retention may be a problem on this. I see it now. Weirdy's not placing any of these other places. Just going for it. So the tier four uh, engineer puts down different types of turrets based on what enemies respond. He's a badass, pretty much. I don't think these symmetrical style setups are going to be good for chimps. We're going to need to get all of the value on one track or the other. And that's all right. What's bottom path go into? Right, balloon trap. I remember now. I oh, remembers. It does look like Engineer's a freaking performer here, though. This pin on the turrets is exactly the kind of lockdown we need. Let's go over here, then. Okay, a little bit spoopsy. Okay, so we're going to need a different type of camo coverage, certainly.
All right, I think I think for the rest of our camo coverage, I'm just gonna go for a bouncing bullet sniper. It seems the the clearest global unit to cover that gap. Yeah, I tried using him on uh, my first attempts on this map, Doomrick. It was it was problematic. It was problematic. Moment of Truth. Looks good. Great, even. Man, the pin on these turrets is just locking down these lanes. There's one advantage the player has on this map that the balloons have to go through a lot of track. They go through it quickly, but they weave in between. Now what? What level are you? 11. I don't think so, Cerisium. Uh, just based on how the balloons travel through the track, I think that the... Whether the... No matter where the turrets are placed, they have a pretty good uh, estimation. All right, he's already buffed up. Cool. Chopper is going to struggle on this map, Pezzer, because it has to move in between lanes and also loses track of the balloons in the middle. How about a uh, Neva Miss Plane? That's good. That being said, I have not seen Chopper myself on this map. I just imagine it struggling. Because of the, the way the tracks loop. Go 
a robo monkey could work here too. Overall, I feel like we're executing a global strategy pretty well here. And I'm not convinced that these four engineers aren't going to make my chimps attempts. Though I may move them a little further back. Does this block vision? Hold on. Okay, these wood things do not block vision. All right, never miss targeting. And I'm going to put this guy on figure infinite. So Alchemist does not buff the turrets themselves, but what it does, it makes the turrets go out 15% faster. Something you can do is you can give hut bonuses to the uh, to these by putting a hut down, giving them jungle drums. That'll make the turrets themselves attack faster, as well as the engineer apply the turret faster. But the buff from the Alchemist would mainly serve as a faster turret placement for the engineer. So yes and no, if they buff or not. Yes and no. All right, let's just mirror this. Let's go here. I think Nevamis is going to be part of our half cash strategy. Great question, Static Control. Thanks for asking that one. Yo, Sid, thanks for 62 months, five years, and climbing. My man. Thank you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, spaghettis. We're fine-ish. Spaghettis. Really surprised we didn't die there. Yes, planes are a great uh, unit for discounts. Agreed. Get a lot of value out of that. Okay, we're clearing 76, no problem. I'm going to need to use my two ability on the second set of 78. But past that, we're looking pretty good. I think I'm literally just going to throw down another plane here because we're almost to the end of this double HP Moab madness. How about instead of never miss, we go for fighter plane with central path. Okay, the second set of 78 has camo, so I gotta use this. Yeah, I bet Spectre could work on chimps. It's a good idea. Ain't incoming here. Nice. Uh, 
Uh, the one ability does a pulsating stun, which uh, you get more pulses for the higher level Saiyas. The second ability destroys or pushes back every balloon type that Sai can currently destroy. Makes this ability a monster for 98, because you can just remove all of the blue Moabs. We undoubtedly have this one. Yo, the countdown begins. Bolt Van Hughes, thanks for 95 months. Captain Jackie Spar, thanks for 12 months. And Lurkin as well. Appreciate ya. Hells yeah. Well, I guess we knocked out double HP Moabs. Let's keep it rolling, huh? Are we on half cash now? The cash, it's halved. All right, maybe Psy not going to be a workable system for half cash, huh? We'll see about that. Let's see how much cash we get here just letting the waves go. Probably just going to be going Sauda here. Or the Quincy. That's right, I said the Quincy. Damn little dude, shredding over here. Alright, yeah, size out for half cash. Can't afford quite a few other heroes, though. Six fifty, five forty, six hundred. Ah, let's go for a ye old Quincy, huh? And I refuse to listen to Quincy whine when the balloons slip. Get muted, son. I also like Quincy be performing a little bit better further back, so I think the ninja was. Just getting a little more track coverage on the back. Be a lot, just a little bit. Dude, Dark, Mon Dark Monkey shreds right here. Dang, dude. Just shredding right now. How much is the plane to put down? 535? Okay. Half cash, I can go wing monkey. Does the jug bounce in the trench? I'm gonna say no on that. Alright. 
All right, feels like circle was better overall. being pretty convincing right now. I don't think this is it, but here we are. Maybe, I mean, the glue monkey might overall be better than the dart monkey in this position. The more I'm looking at this. Way 26, we gotta start thinking about Moab at some point. Here. Uh, nine health, okay. Gaining shield back. All right, good first attempt there. I think Sauda is going to be as effective, if not more effective, than Quincy for this map. All right, let's go for free glue monkey. Like slowing those stinky balloons down, probably a great idea. I just noticed we get two sets of tacks on each side on this map with our monkey knowledge. That's cool. out it goes right here yeah it's not the best coverage but it's enough oh maybe it's not she's only getting one side of the balloons it's kind of grim okay i take it back out is not the one here uh i bet Oban's pretty good too Let's try, let's try Oban. Yep, 
Yeah, agreed, Doomrick. We'd have to commit Sauda to one side only, which honestly is probably a very uh, valid strat. We did staunch. Here's the uh, clip for you. What I should do here is put him kind of on the outside so he barely covers one side there, maybe over here. Because I get homing shots with this guy, so as long as I'm touching some portion of the balloons, should be okay. I'm more concerned about getting the uh, the bonus to druids and maybe ninja monkey here. Yo, Baker Stange, thanks for that very generous five gifts of package. Much appreciation. All those recipients today, just please enjoy the emotes and community and ad free viewing as well. Appreciate you. Okay, a little further up would be good so I can get a druid on this platform as well. My dear. like we're losing some value on those wolf shots like this. Really a brutal half cash map. All right, Druid going down over here. Over here. Yes, it would be better if the druid was in open's range. This guy's going to be Vine Druid, and he's going to get extra pierce from Oven, too. I'm very hesitant if we make Vine Druid here. We might, though. We might. Somehow clean that up. That's a good sign. Clearing round... 15 usually has some good implications for the rest of the run. You do not get money for unpopped balloons, no, Corello. Open buff is ready. Oh man, he shreds it. 1025 for that, that's a lot.
Yeah, I have zero camo vision so far. That's rough. It's doing though. Yoinks. 1024, 1025. There it is. All right, not only do we have vines down, they have an extra pierce because of Oban. So that's cool. We'll grab hard thorns here so we can cover around 28 just in time. I need some form of camo hit before 33. Guess that's this. Slipping some dang. I bet Sharp Shuriken's Ninja is a stronger overall start for this one. Yeah, how are we going to take out the Moab right now? Looks like we're not currently. Yes, it's always consistent Maverick, in this case, bottom left for the Moab. We lived. Wow, we actually defeated 40? Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, Camo got us there. Fair enough. Wow, half cash gonna be a doozy on this one. All right, I'm a lot more inclined to go Quincy now because he has base Camo Vision.
Hmm. You know, I bet boomerang monkeys are pretty all right here, too. I'm gonna move Quincy back a little bit, or maybe tilt him to one side, but... Seems right up against the edge just doesn't quite work the way you want it to. Go like right here, so it gets more of an ambush. Also leaves this very important spot for ninja or something else. Seems like a better spot overall. Getting an additional follow-up shot. He's not really losing ambush on, on this. I'd say we're a little weaker on this side, but... There's going to be a weakness somewhere, no matter how we go about it. And Quincy can help mitigate some of the early camo as well, so we don't have to worry about getting Ninja down right away. That's nice. Okay, I'm gonna put the other Druid down here, because this is our weaker wave. Probably right in the center, in fact. Right here would have been a better spot for this Druid. Okay right here maximum coverage area <laughs> a little dart monkey shredding right there dude what a lad Yep, lacking some coverage on that side. Let's go additional druid here. Wow, whiff that one, huh? I'm just going to start up with quad druid here. I think there's a more effective global strategy out there, but I do think druids on this particular map perform really nicely. Hell, druid performs nicely on most maps, but getting this uh, piercing thorns effect seems to be doing the work. Seems like a decent time to try for Ninja, and then maybe Sniper. I think Ninja right now covers a bigger amount of balloons. It's going to pull him back just a little bit here, like that. So when they come out this way, I can at least get somewhat of an ambush.
Do I not have any lead popping here? Oh, only Quincy. All right. Oh, we're not dead. That was uh, me dang. So somebody's got to go hard thorns here. Could have been worse. Go here and then we'll swap over to a cannon. Removal of the central area on this map costs 2,000 monkey bucks. Definitely not happening in half cash. Yikes. Okay, so we're not having enough coverage down here. That's fair. Let's just drop the cannon in here. Right here. I guess here I would see the other side, too. Let's go ahead and do this. Yo, BK Garner, thanks for 47 months with a four years of support. Yep. All right, all right. Half cash do be tough. I almost think the ninja would have been better served over here. Maybe in that case, Quincy's better over here. Try Quincy on this side. I'd love to have even coverage, but it really feels like it's just much better this way. Okay, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> maybe once he gets his range increase. Yeah, he's only hitting one half of this track. Fair. Gonna restart that. Also gonna do this. Okay, so gonna really cover the one side. I get halfway into the other loop, but mainly use my my radius for the one half track. 
Yeah, actually, let's go ahead and do this. So we'll give Quincy complete command of this side. Watch out, little Dar Monkey's doing it, dude. He's doing it. Okay, let's go ahead and go here. Welcome to Sniperoni Town. I would say this is our most promising start yet. The Dart Monkey is actually just incredible here. Even better than I imagined. Seems like for the first waves, you could actually populate just most of these islands with Dart Monkeys, maybe even tax shooters. And have a pretty good time about it. I use that too early. Thought that was round 15. It's not. We're still gonna be okay here on round 15, though. Wow. Wow. Lean it up. This is uh, pretty solid. This could even be like a chimp strategy right here. It's got that kind of vibe. I was very much underestimating how effective uh, dart monkeys would be on these various platforms. Alright, this sniper I'm going to come back for. The sniper right now is going to cover the lead waves 28 and 30, which is what I need him to do. Thinking like Vine Druid is the next step. Um, I don't know if I want to put him on this side. This is the weak lane right now. I mean, that's not it. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. We can get a plane down now. Plane was definitely working. I was thinking plane's pretty nice half cash um, unit. Yeah, we're definitely on to something with this configuration.
Okay, lots more darts. Definitely some sense to fighter jet here. All right, so we're gonna have some camo slips here and that's fine, that's what our shield's for. We're gonna have to embolden our strategy before 37. Actually, maybe we let 37 uh, slip here and then we add the camo after 40. sharper darts. Uh, I gotta believe centered path performs even better than this. Yikes. We got a little off uh, off plan with this plane here. All right, well, we had a good start there. Just a very quick restroom break for me here at the six hour mark, and then we will uh, head into another attempt. Feeling much better about the start overall having done that. I may even just throw down two more dart monkeys. They're putting in work. One moment. All right, we have. I thought that was Daisy up there. It was Winston the whole time. Wow, pretty cool. Let's go here. Hey there, Admiral Aztec. What's happening? that down.
You know, going into a crossbow monkey like in here wouldn't be the worst, would it? Not sure what map you're referring to, uh, Admiral Aztec. Oh, the boss. Oh, probably not. I, don't, I haven't been doing boss attempts lately. Mainly focused on getting medals. In fact, I have not tried Vortex at all since it's released. Bosses sure are a fun mode, though. What's the uh, mechanic for Vortex? Druid going down right here, too. Okay, we got some form of stability now. Gonna get Sniper down at the moment. Oh, maybe I should try to squeeze plane in before I put Sniper. Is that too greedy? I get like a 300 discount on the plane is my thought. By doing it now. You know what, let's go shrapnel shot on this one instead of faster firing. Because at the end of the day, this is going to be a strong sniper anyways. First camo wave is negligible. Go here. Just this is enough to get past 28 and 30. I should stop there on the sniper for a minute. You can always come back into it. Choices. Let's get into one Vine Druid right now. You can see that having a very high functioning increase to the build's effectiveness. Remembering correctly from all my previous half cash attempts, this is probably too aggressive of a strategy. Okay, getting Vine Druid on half cash is huh, not as reliable as you'd hope. Oops, I did that to myself. Okay, at least we got Vine Druid down now. I'm gonna give my man hard thorns too, because it's a very cheap increase to the effectiveness of thorns. Mm 
Okay, let's try to get camo vision going on now. Okay, camo vision's out. Arguably not the best position for shrapnel. I think up here is nicer. Okay, shrapnel shot. Forex, thanks for eight months. Doctor, love wizard, what a name, what a player. Thanks for 97, man. Appreciate that. I think I'm going to put Turret Engineer right here. Maybe right here. Mm. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Guided Magic. Put you on strong, Bubba. Hoping Quincy's ability is enough to pop the Moab. And if I get it on target right away, it should be. Man can dream. Kind of impressed at the lack of slips there. Oh, please tell me my ability is back by the end of this wave. Thanks. Oh, yeah, Quincy's got no prob there. Okay, I mean, we got a solution through 40. That's, uh, that's a pretty big deal. Pretty big deal. Dun, 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 dun. Cool, thanks for that information, Aztec. Appreciate it. All right, I mean, there's going to be Moabs coming from other lanes, so I've got to think about that. I don't think it's a terrible time to go into plane. Let's be honest with ourselves, though, and another Viney Druid makes a lot of sense here. Stability-wise. Just for what the unit does, I'm going to put another mage down over here. I'm trying to avoid mere strategies on this map, but it's just making sense right now. And with half cash, it's kind of like put it down or die. And I prefer not to die.
All right, now we absolutely need to work towards Moab damage. Whatever that might be. I think a fighter plane would be a good start. Oh, I got the two ability now as well. All right, all right, that's nice, that's nice. All right, our magic, magic purple balloon popping is weak at the moment. We'll definitely help that. Okay, fighter plane, sharper darts. Yeah, let's go center path here. Looks good. got wave 50 down. It's no joke. It makes the most sense to me to upgrade the unit we already have on the the ground in Operation Dart Storm. Okay, cool. Ouch. All right, that wasn't all bad. Maybe instead of going Operation Dart Storm, I put a second plane here. And we kind of have a overlapping coverage with two missiles going out on the Moabs. Also have the uh, very real and probably pretty good option of replacing this unit with Ninja. So go one, uh, one mage, one ninja. We are currently clearing 40 though, which I gotta be happy with. That is the most excellent start to half cash, getting that clear. All right, you're here. The lightning, unfortunately, SFT does not go through this middle barrier. This is like an underground tunnel. So the balloons momentarily disappear underneath there and are untargetable. Yeah, it's definitely an advanced map, FST. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Do, do, do.
Okay, I got him. Okay, at this point I went for Vine Druid, right? No, I'll put Sniper down next. Um, strongly debating not doing Sniper next. Because I can get a much bigger discount on the plane. The discount for the plane is basically the cost of the entire Sniper. Uh, thanks to our monkey knowledge. Let's try going plane next. Then Sniper, then Vine Druid. Sure. I feel plane and its base upgrade does perform admirably here. So the cost of Sniper went from 235 to 360, but the cost of the plane went from 535 to 820. All right, so let's get this guy in strong full metal jacket, and I'm going to try to put down a camo something or another. Um, let's say ninja this time. I'm going to do this instead of shrapnel shot. Okay, I want Ninja right here. I'm going to lean it a little bit to the one side. Like so. going to be a 101 ninja for right now. Okay, maybe 201 then. Okay, I haven't even picked up the single vine druid yet. Something to keep an eye on. All right, 201 for the moment. Okay, I'm going to go faster firing as well. This covers the lead 38. And right now is not going to be bad. Okay, good to see we're actually clearing 33 appropriately now. Ninja was a good choice. Definitely some slippage there. This is my uh, punishment for not taking Vine Druid earlier. It's 
simply need more lead coverage, even if it's just a hard thorns. All right, that's fair. We uh, we definitely deviated from our plan. I will say, though, that this ninja was pretty effective. I think instead of going plain this early, I should be going Vine Druid and Hard Thorns. And then we, with the ninja instead of the plane, and then we can uh, hook up some other stuff later. That's a toughie. What a super fun day for some balloons. Let's do it again. Thank you all for being here for our all day Sunday stream thing. No idea what numbers all day Sunday stream this is, but quite a few. I can't say with confidence it is show number 2865 here on Twitch, though. Man. Going to be at 3,000 shows here before you know it. And can it just imagine this when I reach show number 3,600. And 50, that is 10 years of daily content here on the site. 10 years of daily shows. All right. Enjoy that lurk serious. Enjoy that. So happy to say, I believe I'm producing my absolute best content right now, even after 10 years. Certainly enjoying this process more than ever. Thank you uh, all for making this possible for so long now. You know, I guess I could put Sniper down before I put this Druid. Just this Druid's so good. <laughs> Let's keep it simple, keep it cool how we had it before. We had a pretty clean Wave 40, Clear had 85 health left, then I went into a bunch of plain stuff, which was a mistake. Is this where I save for Vine, or did I put the Sniper down first? I think I put the Sniper down first. I'd have a point that I can actually remember. Let's go ahead and see if we can force Vine Druid here with Hard Thorns. I'm gonna do it on this guy first. It's definitely the weaker side. The side that has Quincy is the stronger lane. 
when she's just badass like that. Look, look out, we got a badass over here. Look out. Twenty-five is the number. Let me put this druid on strong. I don't know. First looks pretty good here. Yeah, little slips fine. Little slips fine. Health is definitely a resource in half cash. Oh man, excuse me. Excuse me. Air quality where we're at is just real bad today. Not a complaint, we're all safe. Just, you know, inhaling the fumes, that's all. All right, so I mean, we got Vine out, which is definitely big time. Let's put this ninja out again. I like this ninja. He was operating very nicely right here. Okay, I feel like we're actually onto something with this strap. Like, yeah, there's still gonna be a few camo slips here. That's fine. Didn't even get through the shield. Dun -dun 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 -dun. This is good. We're hitting the very edge of the outside track here, too. So we're getting um, continuity on that. Okay, we do have... It's coming up. I'm going to go for a faster firing here. 37 is a big wave. All right, let's go ahead and grab double shot next. And then after double shot, I'm gonna put down that mage on the other side, I think. Certainly double shot's gonna be good. All right, mage down here. I'm so... I don't know if I believe 10 years is mastery or the 10,000 hours thing. It's a nice idea, but... I have the mindset that you never... should never feel you truly master anything. So if you believe you truly mastered something, then you decided to stop learning. I think that's very problematic. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. All right. Cleared 40. Hell yeah. I can definitely say 10 years of doing anything will make you better at it, though. That's a fact. That's a fact. Okay, that was a painful wave, but we made Arcane Mastery, which should cover, I think, quite a bit more now. Let's go strong on this guy. All right, now what is the question? Now what? We're back here in a very similar position, past 40 with around 80 health.
<laughs> okay, let's try this plane idea, but this time we're going to go one plane on each side fighter jet. I do think plane's a pretty efficient unit on this map overall. Maybe these guys are even going to be, uh, like, pineapples and spy plane. Certainly an idea. Yeah, I don't think we're getting that much value out of the, uh, the sharper darts on this one. Fighter plane. Yep, sniper upgrade is definitely another valid tree we can go. We can also go into uh, more vine druids, other global presence, like a bouncing bullet sniper might be a better choice than this guy. Might be. Just leave him at that. Let's put a plane down here now. Okay, now that I have this going, I'm going to put this guy on figure infinite. I'm going to put him on figure infinite as well. Should be a decent overlap here. Oh, they got a really nice pattern going right now. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. We need more raw popping power before 49. I understand. I think everything up to putting the planes down looks very nice. Probably go into a uh, second Vine Druid and then something. I'm going to think on that for just a second. It's going to stretch my legs real quick, um, refill my water, do all that stuff. I'll be back in just a second for another half cash X Factor attempt. Do we have any kitters right now? Huh? Any kitties? Yeah, okay, you kicked Winston out of the bed. Good job, Daisy. Good job. Good job. Be back in just a minute for some more fun.
All right, we have returned. Let me turn the lights off for you there, D-Blades. Thanks for your patience during that brief intermission. Back into half cash X Factor attempts. I don't think it's unfair to say, Bragg, that uh, military monkeys perform pretty well on this map. At least sniper. The thought I had on break is instead of placing this first sniper and going the stronger shots, I could very easily. Um, just grab hard thorns on both the druids and then try to get a bouncing bullet sniper going. I think bouncing bullet sniper could be the stabilization um, method that could work here. So I just want to kind of see something else that's kind of dumb, which is going to be putting down four dart monkeys here. The four druids, like here. This guy seems to be performing admirably, is my point. So if I have three dart monkeys down, then I put druids down. That could be pretty stable. Agreed, Marluxia. I agree. This is uh, this map is all about a global strategy for sure. I even think these little cubbies in here are very, uh, very much tarps. I tried very hard to make strategies work on this map, uh, utilizing these uh, these U's, but uh, inevitably your <laughs> units just don't have enough reach to actually make that work. Okay, so we're gonna put him here. I know what I'm doing uh, with these monkeys contradicts that, but I feel that these monkeys are going to have good piercing value for the entire game for the one cost placement. Let's, in fact, put these guys on strong. Probably with this, I get away with one druid. This is definitely still going to be on the left-hand lane. Yo, ain't no profit. Thanks for almost 70 months of support. Appreciate that, dude. Athene, thanks for 26 as well. Thank you. Yeah, that's really true. The early dart monkey is an exception in almost all strategies. This guy's shredding right now. What a gent. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I just think we might be kind of um this setup right here might be the start of our chimps. Just keeping that in mind, because not a single balloon has got passed yet. So definitely on to something there. This guy should probably be on strong as well. I don't know, if everybody's on strong, nobody fires it first. First. Alright, so I'm going to give both of these druids hard thorns, and then I'm going to go into a vine druid. Or maybe this mage over here.
Yo, that's awesome, Marlux. You're glad you're able to find a game that you got several hundred hours out of from watching the stream. I'm at about 600 in balloons right now. Is that right? 630. I was below 600 before I started Mesa. Balloon sure is cool. I'm going to try rushing this. Yeah, rushing this feels like Mistake City. I think the next unit I want after these two druids is Sniper with faster firing, then going into Shrapnel for wave 33. It's working. It's a working system right now. Right now, 33 is going to mess us up. Where's the best possible spot to put a sniper? You know what? By golly, the best spot to put a sniper is like right here. Or right in this wedge. I was putting the snipers on the outside, but there's no detriment to vision anywhere on the map. So... Grapnel direction doesn't make sense in this corner because then, like, here it's going sideways off this one. Be perfect for this, uh, this path. Backwards on this one and also sideways on this. But if I put the sniper right here, I get basically maximum value on shrapnel on this one and this one. Uh, this one looks great too. So it improves the angle to bring it in. Okay. What does it look like up here? Yeah, still a little sideways on these. I think this is the best sniper spot. This is also a monster spot to put another unit, so... Uh, let's try this side. Try this side. Gives me the best angle on the weakest lane. Mm, I think that was a pretty big realization on that sniper. It's going to be very helpful on future attempts. Doesn't really help for bouncing bullet, but just shrapnel, big time. Could even elite defender right here. That'd be a sick location for it. Not on this uh, half cash attempt, of course. We're not saving up 15,000. It's just not going to happen. Yo, KSWA, thanks for 68 months. Slaying that hype train. Thank you. Athene, thanks for 26. Dragon's Kitten, four months as well. And my pleasure, KSWA. Thanks for the sub and typing that out. Good feels. survivable that helps yeah this guy's a legend dude okay second vine druid or additional unit more save for bouncing bullet Let's just say I think that a second Vine Druid would be really helpful. 
Well, we're doing a good job of this time. We're executing a, a global strategy, not a location strategy. Okay, cool. He slays 37. That's beautiful to see. Okay, awesome. All right, I gotta believe with the two Vine Druids and the Sniper and activating Quincy's ability, we clear 40 here. Thirty-four fifty-five. If I make it past forty, that's like three waves. Is there anything else I was going to place anyways that makes sense? I guess that um, Arcane Mastery Mage would be a good plug before the Sniper, it also emboldens our camo vision, which will become a problem here sooner rather than later. Might be good to see if this works before, um, or if the camo can be cleared with these two beforehand. I believe in this placement. I think it's just good coverage and it has a homing ability, so it's somewhat global. Oh, I was late on my ability there. Yikes, we're fine. Whoa, leave some for the rest of us there, bud. Cool goggles, though. Camo wave's coming in. Just gonna grab it. Very much looks to me like we could have cleared these waves without the mage. Meaning we could have had Bouncing Bullet Sniper already. Okay, now we're saving for Bouncing Bullet. Oh yeah, we had Bouncing Bullet there. Oh, yeah. Thirty four fifty five. Seems like a lot because it is. Give me that. All right, wave 50 is coming in, which has Moabs, and I think some of them come from this side, so I'm not convinced we have enough damage to clear it. I don't think I'll do much better than putting a Alchemist down, though. Bonus Moab damage. Okay, I do have multiple ability uses. Cool, he's buffed. Okay, we can go faster throwing as well. It's promising. If this drops, I can do the uh, two ability on it. Right now, looking like we might not make it, though. Uh-oh. We lived.
All right, now I'm thinking plane doesn't look so bad. Now, what's the next camo wave of note? I think 78. Quincy can use his ability on that. 59, but this guy's got it covered. Do I go for a stronger stimulant or another unit right now? Tough. I thought the Engineer Monkey did a really nice job last run with the Pen Sentry. That isn't Moab damage, though. Hey, my time here. So we're basically in the clear. We've created a situation that we can get Bouncing Bullet Sniper. Even without this mage, we can have that. So we kind of have a stable past 40 into 50 now, which is a good place to be. A couple more good decisions, and we'll be clearing 60, and then a few more after that, we've defeated half cash. You know be pretty delightful here? A never miss targeting plane. Let's try this. I was thinking fighter jet, but what if my plane just never misses? That'd be cool too. Uh, I feel like Wing Monkey's going to underperform on this map. Huh. Guess we'll do that then. Well, the sniper is still the main buff recipient. That's great. Okay, three grand is the number. Really more like 4.4. Oh no. Okay, we're alive. Bear. All right, we're definitely on to something here. Let's cut this mage for the Bouncing Bullet Sniper, and then we'll make a few other choices. We're definitely into the sauce. Yo, Armetheus, thanks for a 31 month salty high. Thanks for 72, six years of support. Cheers. put down two more dart monkeys one here and one here it looked awesome last time and they perform really good for being 215 cost put them on strong last time too let's try keeping them on first this go around Also, one last, one last thing, going to try to replace the Dart Monkey up here. We're just placing the Druid right now. Hmm. I don't know if that's true. It's Dart Monkey time. Placing a Druid on this side leaves this side continually weakened. 
We need to catch up on this side first thing. And those maximum value darts. Go, dart monkey, go. Yo, let's drop sniper right now. I know this is what I'm gonna get the discount on. We also decided that this is the spot. I'm gonna keep my man on first for right now. Activision, thanks for 61 months. Little hand to you. What's good? Druid, Druid, Vine Druid with Hard Thorns. Before Vine Druid, we're going to go into Faster Firing Shrapnel Shot. I remember. thorns on the druids then we're going into faster firing shrapnel shot is I'm gonna grab both sides of the faster firing to begin I think for the investment it's better to have the faster popping power right now rather than the AoE just for now, though. Shrapnel's the next play. Alright, so we had a, a minor leak. That's fine. Barely scratched the shield. Uh, very acceptable. Nice. Fine druid stuff. Having the sniper before we get to round huh, 33 is awesome. Sniper is a heck of a unit, I tell you what.
Okay, that's pretty good. The shield didn't break. The vines are down. So I guess the test now is to see if we can save for a uh, bouncing bullet or not. Or perhaps we should just go for a second vine druid first. It does lighten the load of the ceramics popping out of the Moab because two are immediately grabbed by the vines. Amazing. Considering this an experiment for my chimps. All right, my lesson's been learned. I'm gonna grab second vine druid. Good test. Appropriate result. I think the fact that we're even considering holding on to 2,000 pre-round 40 and half cash is uh, a sign of health for the build. Monkey's not as well placed this time. I dub the adequate. Up against the back seems to be the best angle I've found so far. Give me that. Do, 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 do. All right, what's next here? Druid and then Sniper. Very big difference coming back into this map compared to the first time I played it. The first time I played it, I just completed some intermediate maps. I was like, oh, I'm going to try out advanced. I'm just going to be fine. And it wasn't fine. I, in fact, got my butt kicked. But I have a much better understanding for having done more advanced and some expert stuff and tried so many different strategies now. Understand global strategies a lot better is the point I'm getting to. Certainly no master at this game by any means, but you a bit of experience at this point. I think advanced and expert maps is really finding the balance between how much global damage you have and also maximizing placement value. That's been my experience so far. Sniper going down right here.
Now you're thinking with druids. Alright, we got a second before we have to go hard thorns. Let's grab a faster firing right now. Great. Okay, a little bit of slippage there. I can still make this and then get to hard thorns. Let's go. Okay, hard thorns on this druid now. Top one actually does not need it yet. Hell, I'm going to grab it, though. Pretty good hold there. All right, we're going to rush into shrapnel now. Good hold. All right, it's definitely time to grab a vine. Actually, two vines is what we decided. We're gonna do that. Let's grab Thorn Swarm first. Let's give that site better popping power. Thorn Swarms are a pretty large damage increase for the uh, cost investment. Gives you eight thorns instead of five. Definitely improves popping power. Okay, this is where I was getting vines last time. Maybe that second uh, Thorn Swarm was a mistake. Okay. Fair enough. Cleaning up. Okay, but we survived. is cleared. Okay, great to know we clear 42, no help. Great to know. Aw, 
awesome. Well, the next reasonable thing to do is to buff this. Okay, what did I do last time that got me? Something. I think I went into plane too early when I was supposed to go into something else. Gotta grab faster throwing at least. Now this time I had mage down last time though. He did. Okay, let's go to faster throwing. I'm gonna go all the way to stronger stimulant, I think. That'd be the easiest way to proceed. Yo, Thanatos94, thanks for 54 months and that prime continuation. Thank you, dude. It's spoopy there. It's gonna be spoopy too, but I got the two ability. scary. I could just throw down a heavy hitting sniper and start going for Moab stun. That might not be a bad press right now. No shrapnel doesn't matter where it is. Could also go for a faster firing shrapnel in here, like go for the bottom path. Certainly options. I bet a, a Moab press boomerang monkey would perform awesome on this one. Hard to go wrong with Moab Assassin, sure. Could definitely be good. You need to start thinking about 63 as well. I feel like this will make the Neva Miss targeting plane. Because last time I didn't have the stronger stimulant and I also didn't have the second Vine Druid. Put down this pin engineer monkey. I like this guy. Pretty effective. Maybe uh, put Engineer here, so he throws the turrets down to the side. No, if I do that, he's going to throw the turrets down, like, in the middle here. Which is no good. I don't like that that guy only covers one... one side of the map.
Okay, let's go here. Okay, we're still clearing the camo waves, albeit barely. I want to know if he clears 59 by himself or not. He might. Oh no. Not good. Oh, that's, that's done. Okay, plane's definitely not correct here. We gotta get more direct Moab damage out. So maybe just throwing a Moab Damager here or here is it. Just a cannon. We don't even have to commit that cannon technically to Moab Assassin. We could work towards Recursive Cluster and still get a pretty good damage estimation on Moabs. I don't think that putting a sniper down is going to be bad either. Huh, that's a, a puzzler. Let's do it again. Just grabbing a refill and we'll get into another attempt. All right, we're back. Thanks for your patience there. Thinking about our past attempts, and I believe that I should skip the Alchemist. Or at least skip getting the last upgrade on the Alchemist, just to get some with more Moab damage. I think Fighter Plane is sounding pretty good. Because really, for the cost of putting down the Alchemist and getting that full buff, I could have double Fighter Plane set up. I will need another source of camo damage if I do that. But even like a 201 ninja would do the trick. That would also be within our range. An additional option is to skip a uh, bouncing bullet. But I think if we're going to invest that far into the sniper, we should just take it that far.
Yes, the bottom right is the current weakness, uh, gracefully floof. Good observation. How much does the bottom path plane cost? 30, 25, 325, 540. Okay. Need firing with that too. Plus the cost. Okay, so. Pretty expensive to actually get going. Much more expensive than just getting fighter plane. I'm going to cut right to Druid here and then Druid here. Losing this Dart Monkey up there. The Sentry Engineer is going to throw his turrets near the track, though. Might just be a good option to put him here. It covers both sides, and the turrets do a lot of work with the pin. And that's a choice. It wasn't abundantly clear, not exactly sure what I'm going to do. We have a very strong start, though. If we can just get through this next set of Moabs, it really opens up. Dang, dude, Quincy is the guy for this. So what we just learned is Quincy is clearing through wave 13 by himself on that side. Okay, there was one slip there, but still. Proud of you, Quincy. Uh, feeling promising for completing or getting past 40 on chimps because if we can get we can do this with uh, this little units on half cash we have twice as much cash to work with on chimps mode no room for any slips to hit the shield though no sir hard thorns Double hard thorns before upgrading the sniper has been the cleanest start yet because the hard thorns make it so they go through the pink balloons. I think hard thorns. Yep, two balloons each, so each of the five thorns become twice as effective. That's cool. This is the way. We're doing it. Four eighty five, I got that. All right, 
right, now we're going to go into... Vines first. We're not going to split the Thorn Swarm like we did last time because the timing on getting Vine is uh, advantageous if we don't spend over here. Wow, get completely ambushed, Wave 33. Get out of here. Okay, that was not the best time to use that, but I did make a choice. That I did. Dude, shield's still at 19. Sick. Pretty sold on this final Druid of the Jungle. Good global compliment at a very nice time. And with usability, this is clearing 40 easily. Later, Tater. Okay, we're just gonna go right into Bouncing Bullet now. He's cleaning it up, dude. Okay, instead of putting down Alchemist and going full buff now, we're going to put down other stuff instead. Like Moab damage. I am darn curious about this engineer. I can see him being very nice right here. Oh, that's right. Darling Gunner can see through these, can't he? Kind of like Sniper does. That's cool. Definitely not against using Darling, but not, not right here. I think just to embolden our camo damage, we kind of need to put a mage down. So maybe Arcane Mastery, Mage, and halfway on the buff on the Sniper would be a middle ground. Let's put the plane down right now. Next big camo weighs 47, I think. Okay, we're still shredding that. Okay. 
I don't like Wing Monkey on this map. I don't like it. Wow, <laughs> he's keeping up. What a lad. What a lad. You know what? I'm gonna go spy plane here. Watch me. Hey, good pineapples. Great pineapples. I'm gonna mirror this. The bombs are a little different here. Ooh, is it not placing a bomb on that side? All right, now we're cooking with mayonnaise. Test face killer. Thanks for 56 months once again. And Taco Master 27. What a name. What a player. Thanks for five months of prime support. Appreciate you. All right. Seems like a very stable wave 50. We can handle multi Moab waves. We just proved that. I think now buffing the sniper makes a ton of sense. These pineapples are actually doing some work. Okay, 52 got us there. That's fair. That's fair. I think what got us more than anything was the choice to go spy plane on the planes rather than going sharper darts. Uh, I think that moment is our moment to put down that ninja. Maybe the moment for the ninja is before the second plane. Yeah, one plane's going to be adequate for 50 between the two usabilities. Once more. Feels like this build is very close to stable past 60. It's also very easy to set up. I'm gonna go straight to Druid this time. Straight to Sniper, I mean.
Not bad, not bad. We know Quincy is basically handling 12 on his own. Right, 431, that's one more than I need to place a druid. Awesome. Let's try putting the druid on this slightly further back um, route, like the dart monkey was. Oh yeah, that's just when I worked in uh, kitchens idle time. Uh, a lot of things you eat in restaurants have uh, mayonnaise, sauces, aioli, and stuff like that. And uh, the, the last place I work, when you get the mayonnaise, uh, it came in a cardboard box and it was just like a plastic bag of mayonnaise, five gallons or three gallons of mayonnaise. So uh, I coined the term when you'd be making these things, you say now we're cooking with mayonnaise before you cut open the bag to fill the tub with mayonnaise. Or when you're using some copious amount for some dipping sauce or something. That's the go-to. I kept that one because I, I enjoyed saying that when I was when I was prepping. It was a good time for everybody. Now, I actually got started though. Uh, the Sue's chef, the place I was working, was making a. Uh, smoked salmon dip which involves a lot of mayonnaise and I said that when he was opening the mayonnaise over it it just kind of stuck from there this became a thing I think the Drew's performing better back here Now we're into faster firing. Hey there, literal cave. Enjoy your lurk, dude. Lurker's number one. Believe that. Okay, the little dart monkeys in the back were saving some leaks, that's for sure. Okay, we're going hard thorns here before we go into the sniper bonuses. I think I like the druids on the third pillar a little better. But I wouldn't have known that if I didn't try this configuration. Yeah, on this map, we have left a uh, half cash, which we're doing in poppable chimps and apocalypse. Those are the remaining metals. So, you know, all the hard ones. This right now is half cash though, which is always a challenge. I think half cash is probably the mode which provides the most insight on the rest of the modes of the map, because you really have to scrounge to beat it. So when you start having twice as much cash, then it helps you with your optimization. That's my opinion. Ooh, he was throwing down here and hitting this track. I saw that, it's pretty cool. Okay, a few slips here.
Maybe this druid here and this druid here. are down. Those definitely help. I'm gonna grab other vines. And 25 will have that in no time. Leaning up. Alright, so from here we can save right for Bouncing Bullet. I feel like I missed something, but I didn't. The only thing I missed here was placing the other dart monkeys. Kind of putting us ahead. Okay, okay. Those other dart monkeys were putting in work. I get it now. Yeah, it's a little late to my ability. I think we're still okay here, though. We're fine. Such a great wave by the sniper there. That's where the importance of this placement comes in, maximizing the shrapnel value as those camo waves come in. All right, next up is fighter jet. This time without spy planks, I'm gonna put a ninja down. Vines grabbing those super ceramics. Pretty nice effect. Alright, why did we have minor slippage there? We did not last time. I don't really care. Time for ninja. Either put ninja over here or over here. Let's go over here with the ninja. Let's try to balance this out a little bit. This will technically be a global coverage because he has the seeking shuriken's effect. Dang, dude. Don't be a jerk now. Now we're buffing. I can see sharper darts being all right. Okay, cool. We're breaking those down. No problem.
All right, yeah, this needs to happen. Ninja definitely lighten the load there for the sniper. All right, now what? Caltrops Bloom Jitsu. Let's go ahead and do Caltrops. Caltrops is not going to be bad. It just leaves a bonus damage on the track for balloons when they when they get there. All right, fighter plane. <laughs> a really good idea here. Here's what I'm putting down. I'm putting down a recursive cluster bomb shooter right here. That's the one. Okay, I need my ability up for wave 60. Probably also hold off on this and just grab some Moab damage. I think a second fighter plane before wave 60 would be appropriate. Sniper shredding, love it. <laughs> Destroyed, okay. Good to know. I was like, ooh, 60 is gonna be a big test there. Uh uh. Uh uh. 63, though, I think is gonna be the test. Okay, good, my abilities are up. Okay, we did not make recursive cluster before 63. We still have bomb shooter down though, which is not bad. Yo, Golvan, 114 months. Thank you. Really appreciate that, Golvan. What is the highest impact right now for something I want to get anyways? I guess I can use my ability and grab recursive cluster. Here we go. Okay. Dude, I think this bails us out. Just don't miss, bud. Don't you dare. Don't you dare miss. Yes. Ooh, 
64 got us after that. Okay, okay. Interesting. Sixty-four. So it's definitely Moab damage that got us there. Open the middle on this map, there's just a little platform to place here. Doesn't really improve vision, and not really feasible on this mode anyways. Recursive Cluster right here did an awesome job on 63 because it shoots here first and then here second. So this seems like a really strong unit. Double Fighter Plane was good until it wasn't, which is when we got staggered um, reinforced Moabs. I wonder how we would have done on 63 without the recursive cluster, since this guy was buffed. Interesting to think about. Try one more time. The, the weak link there was... Uh, no, I'm not so sure. Let me see here. Okay, advanced targeting is 325. Not bad. How much is the first starting at 570, huh? All right. Going right into Druid here. Actually, maybe not. We're going to go right into Dartling Gunner. Hold on. I've got an idea. You know, Quincy holds about up to 12 himself right here. He's that good. Shield's not broken yet. Seventy for the next one, that's a lot. It's 
Tough day to be a balloon on this side. I'm gonna put a druid up here next. I forget. I'm gonna put a darling gunner on this side as well. Do I want him on the here or do I want him here? I think I want him here. 870. Okay, there's some leaks there. It's fair. It's got to be Druid now, because I need something to pop lead on 28 and 30. It's this guy. Sniper just performed better here, though. I think there might be room to load in these Darling Gunners uh, later on the other build. It's just something to do. Oh yeah. You see this is not near as effective as our previous strat. We're gonna check it out though. Doesn't mean we can't make it just because the start's been a little more bumpy. I need to do it on this one. Understood. Understood. All right, that's fair. That's fair. I've got a pretty good idea of how we're going to start that one. Going to move along, though. Some nice medals we got there on X Factor. We're going to hop into the Spelunky 2 Daily First Look. Just reset about an hour ago. Do love me some donkey. With the switching games, we'll... Uh... We'll get a prediction going for the success or failure of this run, making it to Cosmic Ocean. I'm gonna start that right now. Will this daily run make it to Cosmic Ocean? 15 minutes on this prediction. Get the title swapped and stuff here as well in just a moment.
All right, looks good. Yo, Reaver, thanks for 28 months during the game switch here. Appreciate that. All right, let's get into the mine shaft. We're gonna grab our daily dude, Jay, my man. All right, now before we play Penguin in the Hole, I'm gonna take a short break here. I'm gonna stand up, stretch my legs, use the restroom, grab some water, prepare myself for the daily run. Uh, again, there's about 15 minutes left on the prediction, whether we make it to Cosmic Ocean or not. Let's see if we got any kitties here. There's no kitty in the bed? Is there a kitty over here? Nope, not one. Not even one cat. Well, that's fair. We'll be back in just a minute for some more Spelunky action.
all righty we have returned thanks for your patience during that brief one there we're back refreshed ready for the daily one sec i gotta untangle a wire real fast i'm always putting my headphones on with a half turn or something all right that's much better Okay, we're all ready now for Penguin in the Hole. Here we go. Oh, I'd use the joystick there. Let's use the D-pad. That's how we play this game. There we go. Perfect Penguin toss. All right, Dung Beetle, come with me. You're going to go up the ladder. Cricket. Cricket's going to the moon. This is the new trick shot. It's tough, too. But the Cricket likes to jump off the wall if you mistime this. Right, here we go. Cricket to the moon. Oh, yeah. Three for three today. No need for our warm-up. It's lit. All right, Spelunky 2 Daily. First look begins right frickin' now. It's gonna be awesome. Definitely still time to get your prediction in if you want to. Whether we make it to Cosmic Ocean or not. What's up, Crook that can cook? Alright, sorry hamster. No hamster rescue for you. What's in here? over here. Ooh, Ghoster. Get out here, you mole. Get out here. I dare ye. Alright, let me clear the way for you. I dare ye. There we go. Take that, you stinky mole. Ooh. One more of those. Nice one, Jay. That's my jingle jangle. All right, have a nice day, Mr. Snack. Trolly moly indeed, Spike, indeed. What a beautiful store, and there's a shrine behind it? Dang. I want at least the gloves for right now. You know I'm coming back. With the moonies. There's a little bit of money. How hard is it to bomb into the shrine? Okay, I can just rope up to the shrine. Very good. Gonna do exactly that. All right, there's two points. Um, do, if I drop this, does it hurt me? It does not. The rope is still contained. Well, I can carry that back up to the shopkeep as well. Where's where's me damsel? This one already got off. I don't feel like it has. Yeah, okay. I almost ate an arrow there. Let's leave that there for a second. There's me, damsel. All right, halfway to Kapala is... Or a little more than halfway is plenty good for me. Go.
Okay. Now for the rest. I <laughs> made a lot of unnecessary work bringing this down here. Fair enough. I meant to drop that off at the shopkeep, but I didn't. Either way, I wasn't going to be able to afford the uh, cape here. So no loss. Got a great kit of gear. Wow. I'm going to guess that 98% of daily goers go Volcana on this one. I'm going to take a jungle just so we can see if there's jetpack. As always, great, great setup for Volcana. Glasses, spring shoes, and gloves. Yo, Alex Incorporated, thanks for four months. And Victor, thanks for 105. And Boo Ash, thanks for 62. Appreciate that. Cool, I like those. No, I like that too, but let's wait. Okay. Ropes and bombs? Must be my birth miss. There's a turkey over there. Hell yeah, dude. Alright. Um, that's a mole. Okay, it is safe down here. It's worth a bomb to me, but from the bottom. for all the other daily goers. What's in Turkey Town? You tell me, Yang. You tell me. Is it moles, Yang? Is it? Be honest now. Okay, you said it wasn't moles. I believe it. Pretty weak, Turkey Town. While I'm here... All right, even more ropes. Awesome. Yo! -ho! Boy, this run has Volcana written all over it. Um, there's a freaking mole in your store, sir. I, I will refuse to come back until you take care of this mole prop. All right? Dang. All right, ropes are good. Take that, too. Good enough. It said take care of it. All right. Pretty happy to see a torch here. Seems we're going to get more money out of the level, which I sorely need. Just going to wait here. Yes, Mr. Squeakums, that's true. Time's going to be an issue here. Okay, here we go. Okay, I do have pace, so I can just simplify this. Just walk right on up here and... Whomp. Oh. 
actually going to value the money here over the uh, damsel. Sounds like something you'd say before uh, dying. Got a lot of stuff to juggle here, though, and not infinite time. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. All right, one minute remaining. There's nothing in here, not a single dollar. That's amazing. Wow. That right side had everything. Get me out of here. What a recovery. 31.6 gain there, and we have 32,000 on hand. Awesome. Oh, hello, Kali Ma, dude. Give me that. Okay, I need two more sacrifices, and that guy's kind of out of the question. Here we go. Yoink! It's fine. This guy will be a two-parter. Juicy cup get. Yo, there's a hammy hams right there. Hell yeah, dude. Well, that was scary. I was just thinking to myself, what if I miss this jump and fall into the jaws of the man trap? That was nearly me. I can light the torch in here. Key, but where? Down here. Check that out. Cool, man. Okay, there's one more central area to check here. Oh, dude, I am absolutely using a rope on this. Okay, I'm at 211 right now. We got the Yang store bottom left. I think right next to the exit. You know what? Just not even going to go through this. I've seen enough. Okay, cool. Plenty of time here. Bonk. And I'm going to keep my money intact and just buy the rope pile here. Have a nice day, Yang. Oof. Nothing wrong with a little wishful thinking there, Pocknock. Nothing wrong with that. What? Okay. Interesting. 
the very weird layout. Let's check out what's over here. Okay. Uh-huh. I did talk to her, right? I did. Alright, time to get the bow. Ow, me noggin. I was using that. Only sorted, though. Crate right here. Let's check it out. Ropes. Okay, bows in the immediate vicinity. That's nice. That's the vicinity I'm in. Second pair of cool shades. Couldn't get any cooler if we tried, unless we find a third pair. Good enough. Bombs. That was interesting. So that pop-up happens when you're at a shrine. That had to be in the outer level. There's a Kali shrine here and something happened while we were back here. Has to be. Dun, dun, dun. I wonder if it had to do with where we were at in the level um, in the, the back layer. Like if that made a monkey jump or something like that. I don't think so. Just weird it took so long to go off. Stranger things have happened. Okay, I see that. Ali Ma. Something definitely got sacrificed there. All right, moving on. That would be the play. Take a nap on the shrine. This looks cozy. Why not? Never know till you try. All right, that's a yoinks. I'm gonna use a bomb here. It turns out I've died tons of times playing Spelunky. Might as well just use a bomb. <laughs> okay. Hello, Matic. All right, I don't think I'm going to buy a Matic, but maybe. What's going on here? Guess we got some time. We also heard that was not the... Um... Wow, Jay. Wow, buddy. Stop showing off. Making me jealous. Heard there's no black market here, so I'm going to go for it. Got a minute and a half to play around with this thing. Definitely will make my money back on it. Say two swings or less for a large nugget or better. I'm in. Okay, no thanks on that, though.
Just slightly dangerous. I've uh, satiated my thirst for greed there. Let's just pop this and get out of here. Okay, black market blip went off right away. Either in the ceiling or not. Down here then? Yeah, there it is. That's the one. Oh, he stole a bomb too. Way to be, man. I have not rescued the sister yet. We'll be back out here, though. I'm going to leave the bow where the clover normally is. Right her. All right, looking pretty promising here. Any cool equipments, though? All right, I'll buy cape. I will also buy spike shoe. I'm gonna buy these things. I don't really need a compass. All right, I'll buy that and that. I also want this. I'll buy this. All right, let's take a little adventure here with the Matic. Same rule, two swings or less for a large nugget or better. I'm in. Okay, no thanks. Right then. Thirteen, huh? We haven't found the sister yet, which is a concern. I'm not sure where she would be at this point. To the left of this, maybe. Could also be over here or not. Where is she? Gotta be up here. There she is. Got him. Okay, Bo is where the clover normally goes. That's where we're headed now. We're getting out of here. A little bit less money than I'd like leaving 2 4, but we'll make do.
curious. Parachute, oh boy. Hello, Mr. Spoods, and you have a wonderful day, big feller. Take her easy. pretty cool. It's a tough jump. Let's do that from over here. Do like uh, this. Ropes. Alright, back this way. You big gold feller. down and you guys know what time it is it's time to bomb a giant hole for this Olmec he thought oh, this is gonna be a three-phase adventure of my design nah not today buddy you're going in one big hole because I am willing to waste 12 bombs to do so Bomb's gonna be a little off. Yep, let's make sure this one's right. Later, money I could have picked up. See ya. Alright, Olmec, as promised, you're going right into a big hole. This way. Onward, faithful steed. Always got time for 10 push-ups. Always. Alright, how many scarabs going to be back here? I'm going to say 12 scarabs. That's my guess. There's one. Two. Three, four. Off to a pretty good start. Okay, here's five. Six, seven, eight. All right, nine, ten scarab, not bad. Picked up at the end there. Okay. Thanks, Waddler. And we're off. Okay, I will use one bomb here. <laughs> you know, I'm going to use another bomb to get into the thing rather than hit the switch. It's a tough one. Some bad happenings there. Oh, 
Oh, that's my bad. Parachute again, why? go doing just fine on money and now even better stop winning Jay there you go now one of each Last one here, Matic. Okay, two. There we go. Pretty weird layout. What's going on up here? Yeah, weird. Lacerated. Okay. Doesn't happen to be a shrine behind this, does there? It doesn't look like it. collect some nuggets here. After all, I earned them. Exploding crab. How you doing, bud? surprised uh hot pet didn't go after me there there we go come on down to evisceration station bud here we go jay is the moon's premier underwater sword fighter you guys didn't know that fun factoid All right, camera, double camera down here. Ah, sopping wet camera, that's what I wanted. That's the one. Let's 
go back here for a second, but... Hey, can I get you stuck back here? Oh, hello! How you doing? How you doing? Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Okay, I can get you stuck back here. One moment. With exactly this bomb. That was not the one. Okay, I can get him stuck in here, though. This works. Maybe? Son of a gun. He has a spot to put this guy. Okay, down here will do. If it wouldn't anger the anger ton, it will. Yeah, I can't do that either. Dang it. Right, how about I already have bombs? Let's put some pep in our step real quick. Alright, he almost certainly dies right here. Okay, it's gonna go down right here. Good luck to you, sir. <laughs> Good luck. You're gonna need it. Alright, here we go. out here. Okay, we're at 159 right now. Good. Okay, reset the jetpack, going back for the cloner, then we'll fly back over here. There we go. Well, no sir help for us today. Hey, good evening, Linsky. Glad you could make our all-day Sunday stream. It's been a fun one. Okay, explosive crab's gonna leave that alone. Hope he has a nice explosive crab life down there. Just not next to me. I'm gonna use 20 bombs here. It was nine. Just a couple more whips. Would be a lot easier if my, uh, you know, Sword of Legend wasn't in the lava. That sweaty guy. That'd be nice. Tall Jade Vortex. TJV. TJV. Tall Jade Vortex is the urn for today's daily. Now you know. All right, get me out of here. Oh, where are you going, bud? Hey, okay. See ya. That's why you don't run mad, you don't look where you're going.
I'll wait. Ooh, that was too close. That made me jump. Okay, the king's right there. Gotta, gotta be patient then. Oh my god. That was not the patience I had in mind. There it is. got the best here, which is double bubble. Pretty hard to mess this one up. Just whip them and then whip them off again. Oh yeah, the juice is loose. Sweet sustenance. Yeah, 25 health feels pretty nice here. Oh, there is this back here. Wow. Okay, where was the damsel? Damsel was like up by the entrance. Yeah. I'm gonna hoof back for the damsel at least. Thank you, Mr. Caliber. Good luck. Always appreciated on the daily, that's for sure. In here? Tripping right now? Oh, yeah, I was at the start. Up here. Right here. All the way back. Get me out of here. This is the way, but after this... This seems like a very nice place to use a bomb, because it's going to make me go all the way to the left and all the way back here. No, thank you. I'll be leaving now. All right, TJV, Tall Jade Vortex is the urn here. Can also chill and skip, but I'm gonna get the urn. That was close, you heard the noise. What is this happening right now? Excuse me? Excusey? Excusey. Okay, the urn room's gonna be over here. There it is. I'm gonna use a uh, bomb here. Wowzy, dude. Okay, that's a really terrifying level. Tall Jade Vortex TJV. That's the one. Tall green urn with a swirl on it. Can do. There's Crack Jade Vortex. Cool guy. Cool guy. That tall J vortex? Hell yeah, it is. What's up, dude? Oh, 
also going to go around here. I don't, I don't like the way this looks. Yeah, no. No, I'm good. Yeah, watch me. Get me out of here. Yo, McMinnif is so sorry for missing you earlier. Thank you so much for 90 months. Hackaloo, 89. Moo Ash, thanks for 62. And Dano Boy, thanks for 55 months just now. As always, we're late to our mission notification. Do sincerely apologize. Got a terrible case of that humanitis myself. It is true. What's happening here? Do this. Okay. I'm just looking. Are the bodies all flung to the side now? Might not be getting my turkey buffet on this one. Now we're dying over. The turkey's not that good. Okay. Uh, get me out of here. Clone gun opportunity here on 7 1 if the sun challenge exists. May or may not. Slurp. First question we got to answer is, is the sun challenge here? Okay, yes it is. Since we know the sun challenge here, now we got to find Waddler. Okay, hold up. I'm going to use a, use a bomb here. Trying to save some time since we're about to get 96 bombs and ropes. Oh my god. This guy, there's Waddler right here. Okay, there we go. Got a clean route uh, to the exit and back. Take the clone gun down. I can bring the arrow to the bow. Hello. Don't see any bats yet. All right, we did good. the clone zone. That's for the zone where cloning begins and ends and collect our reward. Hells yeah. Oh, you're just right here? Okay. Oh, we're not getting to that shrine. Good luck. 
Get me out of here. Okay. That's all right. Not dead. That is a very easy spot to lose the jetpack at. Not dead, though. Would like to recollect this HP if possible. Okay, there's the damsel. That's uh, attainable. Interesting, I, I kind of assumed the frogs would auto-explode to the arrow, so saw that for the first time. What's in here? Ooh. Another spring shoe. I'm actually quite enticed by the idea of um, backless cosmic ocean right now, so not even, <laughs> not even all that much of a panic about losing the equipment. I will definitely take more mobility if I find it, but... I'm okay operating without. All right, later, Tata. Dark Sunken Temple, always a bit harrowing. Back here. All right. That's fair. Great time for a rope. There's a store, huh? No mobility item. Cool guy, though. Okay. Undone climb begins right now. Oh my god, stop it. Stop it, Mr. Frog. How dare ye. Alright, one of those two. Right on, right on. How dare ye. They're making us work for it. I can respect that. All right, I got 98 bombs. No need to even mess around here. Put this down up here. It's a lot of water. Nope, this doesn't look right. I'll wait. All right, that worked.
two more fireballs I'm gonna drop down. did it from 1-1 one, one, all the way to cosmic ocean on the daily tall jade vortex uh is the urn jetpack available in the back layer on what level tide pool no on the sister in the jungle All right, let's see if we can finish out one level here. If we can, I will start a new prediction, but the Believers have won the current prediction. Nice job, guys. Okay, we have bottom corner exit right now. Since we have no equipments, we have to be a little bit careful. Okay, this, this ain't it. This is tough to get out of. Wow. I can't even go out that way. Okay. Uh, one more bomb then. All right, I'm going to drop down to the ceiling here. This is the main technique when you have no back equipment. You can drop from the edge tile from one side down. Uh, much better to do on maps that are not... Don't have arrow traps. Or witch doctors. Oh my god. <sighs> Probably should have died there. Anywho. Let's start a new prediction. Congratulations, believers, on the current one. I'm going to make this for 733 since we have no back equipment. So this would be another 25-ish levels. If we make it, we'll start a new one. I'm going to stand up, stretch my legs real quick after that uh, near catastrophe. I'll return momentarily for the continuation of this Cosmic Ocean Daily.
Hope you all had a nice little break there as well. Seven and a half minutes left to get your prediction in if you want to. For 733, no back equipment, but basically maximum resource. I believe. Oh, good, this. Okay, I saw a snake shooting off the side of the level. Let's go try to fix that right now. I believe I also saw an orb to the left here. Because I did. Two. Don't really care about that. Here's three. I do care about that. All right. Where's that poison landing? Got it. like the angle of this at all. I think what I do is this. What I didn't like was the idea of something being directly behind the jelly, like a swamp or a, a cursed cat. It seemed a lot safer than what I was about to do. Well, hello there, excuse me, and you have a nice day. Oh god. It's three? Okay, at least it was close. Right down here? Yeah, I see it. Okay, I'm not gonna try to squeeze through this. Um... I think a big part of backless attempts is using the equipment you have, ropes and bombs, pretty proactively. All right, it's gonna leave that alone. Means we do not want to drop down from the left side, though. This is a pretty good last orb. I'm gonna leave that one below the jelly. Those two. So one's already gone off. Butte. the exit. Any orbs nearby? Top, top left exit. Okay. I need something to throw at that. That was two. Puts three down here somewhere. There's three. Hmm. I hesitate on this. Okay, this is a much better spot, actually. Oh my god. Okay. I was mistaken on how this was going to go. Me dang. I misunderstood.
Atlas Cosmic Ocean is pretty exciting, dude. What an amazing challenge Spelunky 2 is. So glad this game, and especially this game mode, Cosmic Ocean exists. For me, it's one of the greatest gaming challenges ever created. That Maddox's tempting, but I'm not going to mess with it right now. Pull my whip. You've been sniped by little J. All right, this is a weird setup. It's like three of the same tile set, one right next to each other. Okay, I saw the jelly tail. Oh, okay. Hold up. That's some stuff. This is also some stuff. Wow. Okay, there's some things happening at the exit I'm not appreciative of. There's two, here's three. Let's uh let's create a safe way to the exit from here. Definitely using quotations when saying safe there. Alright, so like this is it. Wowzy, dude. All right, maybe the best way is going around. See this. I'm going to clean up this uh, bug right there. Okay, that'll make getting back around to this side safer. I'm going to throw a rope right there. Okay, no cheese sauce being spilled. Should be coming from the left-hand side. Yes. Woo! That was a level. That was a biggin', my man. Biggin'. Well survived, Jay. That was incredibly stupid, and I enjoyed every second. Means the last orbs in here? Yep. Boy, that's not easy to get to. Tiny level, very complicated. Is one determined little baby kitty, let me tell you. What a lad. Definitely want to be proactive about cleaning up enemies on this type of run. Oh my goodness, where is it? Oh, GG. The Ankh's still intact. That was scary. I wasn't ready for that to be three. All 
right, still in the game. Oh, good, more of this. Love it. Actually, for backlist levels, uh, Volcano is kind of a good one. It's way down there. GG. That was a tough one. Very fun run, though. I'm pretty successful. A uh, couple set of levels there. Backlist. Did some good stuff. Congratulations, doubters, on, on that one. Well, that's yesterday. Interesting. Must just not be in yet. Okay, what are the takeaways from that daily? We got Tall Jade Vortex. TJV was the urn. Uh, Jetpack in the back layer above the sister. In the jungle. Very dangerous Dark 7-2. There's an arrow trap that might take your jetpack on the far right side. Very cleverly placed. A great run for Volcana, it seems like, too, if I had to say. Well, all right, guys, uh, that is not the end of our Sunday show, but that is the end of Spelunky 2 Daily First Look, that's for sure. Try it again. There we go. I'm going to head into at least a run of Nova Drift. Let's see how this goes. One second here as I fix the capture and my title as well. All right, so we were playing previously on the experimental beta branch, the super experimental, just kind of like first patch for the uh, the next one. Now we're playing on the official beta branch. This is basically the stable beta branch, the branches that's going to go to the... Uh, the main branch next after the final polishing. So most of the major bugs are worked out. So basically a big overhaul of the drones and new super mods and uh, some other fun interactions. I'm not going to go into these with any particular build in mind. We're just going to have a good run. Okay. All right, and we're off. Oh, I didn't mean to do draft mode. Uh, get out of here. No draft today. It's also a play on Mayhem, not Annihilation right now. We're just going to be doing a whatever build. You know what? Spectre Salvo is something I haven't done in a while. Let's see if it cooperates. And now that I say that, I'm not so sure that's what I want to do. Take Orbital here. Moments. 
Yo, missing wheel card seller. Thanks for three months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thank you. I'm going to grab Sentinel here. My plan is to infuse the missiles, so I want them to be uh, slower is better. This does counteract our stockpile rate, but it does allow us to cut a pretty major set of upgrades. Okay, let's go thrusters first. like the idea of drones. Almost certainly going to go streamlined. Do I want to go Deadly Wake as well? This build is not going to be Tempest Break. So no. Shield cooldown though. We do need Discharge for where we're going. Let's take that part. Shield cooldown's a real cool stat anyways. Yeah, we're gonna take volatile shields here. It's on our way to discharge, and I don't want to take flash shielding on this version. Basically, this infusion build uh, to like this would go one of two ways. Uh, either I would... Eh, I lost my train of thought there. Let's say either I uh, build it up so it goes as fast as possible, or we go for as big as possible on the lightning bolts. I think we're going slower version here. Okay, twin strike. I'm definitely going to take this. Ultra rare. It does reduce our recovery rate and shield cooldown, but we have some things to counteract that. Projectile without a real fire rate downside. Hey, Sir Shiv. Thanks for making it official with Prime. Glad you're enjoying the content enough to even consider. Thank you, dude. All right, what's next? Say efficiency is generally really good here. Take deadly weight to get towards blink too. Uh, what else is this? The only Tempest Break goes with deadly wake fair. All right, efficiency it is. Here's Discharge. I can actually use this uh, rather offensively if I want because my fire rate's so bad. Close to stuff, we can definitely burn it. Okay, here's Magnitude, and just like that, Infusion's in the pool. Amazing.
Yo, it's here. Ooh, look at those spicy bolts. Wow, that has quite the reach for these little missiles. It's pretty amazing. Oh, man, I'm going to take Drone Specialist here, like, for certain. For certain we're going Drone Specialist. I'm liking how this build's starting out. Probably do want to go for core shielding because it reduces the self damage we take when we fire um, infuse. Yeah, I need to try this build with uh, Spectre. I agree, Coda. Sounds awesome. Dreamline's sounding pretty cool right now. Let's go for it. Works towards Warp Strike, too. Here's Blink. Being able to teleport is uh, really amazing defensively and offensively for that matter. Oops, all sizzle. Oops. Got him. Part of me wants to avoid the essence staff tree and take this hyper metabolism instead. Oh, what the hell? Let's go for it. God. Oh, don't fire at him, dude. Uh-uh. It's not the play. Here's another piece of warp strike. All right, Warp Strike's officially in the pool. I think with having one hyper metabolism, we're ready to take Gemini Protocol. We're only taking that little bit of damage when we fire out anyways. What does this feel like if I sustain fire? Okay, it's even not that bad. Oh man, another twin strike? I mean, we're here, aren't we?
Right, let's see what's the shield here. 110, 100. So conversion would give me maximum shields right now. I think I like that. Go ahead and take last stand. It's one less thing we can see, and it gives us a greater XP pull radius. It's very desirable in a warp strike salvo build. Maybe not at this moment, but soon. Wave fitty. I'm definitely claiming the XP from that wave. Thank you very much. Yeah, all right. Warp strike. Just uh, mod pool wise, this uh, this run started out freaking awesome. Later, Tater. A singularity life for me. I will say this is a most interesting winnow. Don't like the idea of losing payload or even shield durability though. What kind of builds have you been liking with the charged shields, Coda? I haven't played too much with that. I think you said a Halo Thermal Lance last time. Any others? now recalling. Let's take payload right now. Oh. Close my stockpile rate right down even more, which means the uh, lightning is going to be even bigger. I'll take core shielding here. Let's go. All right, I'm going to take this conversion. And the reason I'm taking conversion is the orbital shield as you take damage increases the size of the orbs and makes them essentially erase projectiles around you. So the larger shield I have, the larger the orbs can become over sustained damage before they reset. Don't even have targeting yet. Wow. Don't care. Charge Shot's also very good here, but I want to try building this out Charge Shot, because Charge Shot modifies the way we have to move. Which isn't necessarily bad, but it is a difference. One thing I'm very prepared to say is that Charge Shot greatly increases the damage per missile. Just don't feel like damage is the issue or a issue at all at the moment. Yes, I would like four times my next recursive wild mod. Thank you. How'd you know? I think this build without the addition of double twin strike could be lagging right now for sure.
All right, let's go splinter. This further reduces our fire rate, but now each projectile we do can make a splinter, which also carries the infusion effect. Increases our screen clear a lot. Yeah, almost dead, but not quite. Great. I think I should definitely take regeneration now. Oh, this is also amazing. Let's take regeneration. Scary stuff happening to my health right now. Okay, I'll take this. Now the next recursive wild mummy take is taken six times and then banished from the pool forever. Take a six energized shields here to have maximum lightning signs. Now we're cooking. Wow, six slip streams. I'm not against that if I have stabilization. Let's pick up drones now. We did take drone specialists. We have a five drone limit right now. Drones, if nothing else, are a physical barrier in between uh, projectiles and myself. Heavy calibers. It seems like the ultimate take for this build. This will add a very uh, major recoil when we fire, however. I don't know if we're ready for this yet. Be minus 42% velocity for our projectiles, too, so we could kind of skip the targeting upgrade if we took this route. I want to experience this. All right, our knockback is pretty ridiculous on this. Got to be, got to be ready when we fire to experience that. So rather than trying to counteract the thrust, I think I should thrust into firing. <laughs> this is definitely going to get me killed, that choice to take that. You can also use it as a defensive, like a back step. It's an interesting idea. I'm going to use it like that. No, I want that. Volley seems pretty okay because I gain projectiles, so we're not losing infusion damage and we're not increasing our fire rate at all. I should be taking this.
What I need right now is stabilization. Is the truth. Propulsive munitions could be a pick in a situation like this, yeah, because then you'd be doing a forward boost with your uh, with your firing. <laughs> that was awesome. Backed it right up there. Calibrate's very interesting. Improves projectile targeting. Increases projectile velocity. Let's go ahead and take shield durability right now. And I feel like we're operating okay offensively. Not great, but okay. Wave 100. Okay, Glaucius is a very serious enemy who we have a great build for. These lightning bolts really mess him up because he's a segmented enemy. I'm going to take this regression right here. It's fine. I'm not going to increase rate of fire because I want this big lightning. I'm really in it for projectiles at the moment. Not taking candescence and we're not going essence sap here. I've already taken height metabolism, so seems good. Okay, stabilization. Awesome. We'll say having stabilization after firing makes it a lot easier to stay in a particular position. Targeting definitely seems fine. With how wonky our firing angle is, having a little more guidance is not going to be uh, a bad idea.
Yo, Feldspar78, thanks for 61 months. Enjoy that continued lurk, dude. The five plus years. <laughs> okay, I mean... I actually feel like this twin strike is probably a bit of a tarp. Got 16 rerolls. Yeah, I don't think more projectiles is actually it. Not the we have a a red tree we can go into more. Let's reroll here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, Discord orbs. We have four, eight, oh, 14, 15 wild mods. Wow, gonna be a lot of orbs, dude. I'm going to take Guidance here. Even more projectile velocity and fire rate down. Two things I'm liking right now. Lower our fire rate, the bigger the lightning is per projectile we fire. And the lower our velocity, the better chance every projectile we fire has to hit. I would say our projectile velocity is in a very magical spot at the moment. Our Lightning Gigum. We have the Infusion mod, which transfers a portion of our uh, sh maximum shield into our projectiles and also provides this lightning effect, which is based off of fire rate. So this one's really not going for the damage per projectile from the shield. It's going all about the, the lightning addition. Really do love agility. There's some very powerful upgrades to get still. Not going to do charge shot here. Let's go blast radius. Yeah, infusion is definitely a newer mod. In this beta, but not before. It's like chaotic nebula build. Love it. You enter the nebula, you get zippy zapped. Them's the rules. Oh. Hello. How you guys doing?
Full strength sounds good. Power reserve sounds good. Agility sounds good. But I'm going to take focus fire here because behind this is double base projectiles. A little less velocity too, but we're going to get more sources of lightning. And lightning is the real damager in this build, not the missiles themselves. We'll get more projectiles out, increasing our fire rate to maintain this. Interesting effect. Yo, okay. It's less velocity and rate of fire. So we take this and we take the double projectiles and then we take calibrate to fix the projectile velocity being a little bit too slow. Our lightning is now at maximum size it will get though. Yeah, calibrate I'd take right now. Man, that lightning size is immense. There's probably a happy medium of this build that takes some fire rate and doesn't have as big of lightning. This looks wicked though. Oh no. Dead? We're not dead. Thanks, Orbital Shield. Let's stop messing around here. particular protocol I have to use firing here. I have to fire and then press stabilization right away to be stabilized. If I fail to do that, I get a little out of control. Which is very not cool, dude. Yo, Juice, thanks for 36 months. Now it's official indeed. Thanks for three years of support. Means a lot. Hey, Avador, thanks for 25 months and that tier two sub. Appreciate that. Congratulations as well. It was a journey. Okay, yes, we do want to take Ricochet here because now our projectiles can create new projectiles. huge power spike. Doesn't look like they're being affected by warp strike, but still pretty good. It's a blast damage resistant. The projectiles just last forever. I 
I'm not entirely sure Ricochet was worth it here. I bet it'll be real worth it in some waves and not very worth it at all in others. Built a gap for global control. Barrier is pretty freaking nice. 19 rerolls though, let's go fishing. Defense throw and arc barrier is a massive source of protection. Challenger, maybe not. Ooh, calibrate. strength certainly doesn't sound bad either we'll keep rolling all right i'll take more projectiles how many now 13 projectiles even with the minus 15 percent that's a stockpile rate i can get behind okay, my shield broke for the first time scared bad for business. We made it past the million line. This means the build's pretty freaking good. Couple close calls. Yeah, Ricochet's paying huge dividends on these extended waves. Jettison backwards into those. Thanks. Give me uh, just one sec. Can use the restroom real quick. Grab a refill.
All right, all right. Hard shot is a lot of damage. I'm not quite ready for that, though. Keep going. There's barrier again. A twin strike? Oh my god. Twin strikes for days on this one. I'm gonna take defense drones. I think defense drones will be life saving. Convinced I need calibrate right now. I kind of like the speed the missiles are traveling at. Well, it's good, Sacro. Let's not die about it now. Oh, it's been awesome, Sacra Saint. Had a great all day Sunday stream. Taters. Not used to the alternate tracks yet, fair enough. That was spicy. I actually think charge shot will improve the way I'm moving right now. Like... Firing too haphazard right now. This solves that, and it generates a lot more splinters. It's good. Not sure on that one, Sacro. Discord for updates, as always. 
other than the Sunday stream is doing things one day at a time right now. Seems likely though. Oh god. Oh god. would say though, Sacro, that Monday would be more likely a day off for me than most days since we do the all-day Sunday stream, but that's definitely not an every week thing. Just going with the flow right now, and the flow's been real good. Taking a moment here to catch my breath, recover. I don't disagree, Coda, on Infuse Salvo being one of the strongest builds right now. Feels that way to me. Got 13 rerolls. Barrier's good. Agility's also quite good here. This is also global damage. If I had Essence Sap, this would be part of it, but I don't. Okay, Counter Pulse is interesting for clearing. I think Arc Barrier would be better, though. 35% missile damage? I'm taking that. 35% damage on missiles? Okay. That is right, Sacco. We are all bozos on the bus. That's a fact. Just taking a few rides on the spinning marble. That's all. right there. That's fair, man. That's fair. We proc last stand near disaster territory. Uh-oh. Not ready to die yet. Give me a minute. Take rupture here. Okay, GG. That's it. 1.7 mil, a very respectable run. 
not making our top 10, but that's good. All right, everyone, that's going to conclude our all day Sunday stream. Had an awesome time today with uh, all the games we played FTL, Balloon, Spelunky, Nova Drift. Look forward to catching you all soon. Discord for updates, as always. Appreciate you all very much. Thanks for another amazing show, uh, another amazing week, and the great opportunity to continue to curate this place where we can enjoy a video game online together. You're all excellent. I look forward to doing it again soon. Until then.